Good morning. 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 This is going to be. Yeah, we're good today. Podcast. Are we streaming live on Facebook? Yes. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, everyone. We have about a minute left. We have Dr. Aaron Chop in studio. I have Mr. Kurt Casper in studio. And I have myself, even if my name is misspelled, on the recent video <laughs> that Kurt knocked out in beautiful fashion. I need like a spell checker. Yeah. That just no, nonstop looks over. The everything. screen is so small on the thing like because we did like even it took so long for the video to render and like all all this stuff that uh you're just like i'm not even looking at it <laughs> i'm not even gonna check it we're just gonna put it up and that's what happened so dr aaron Chapa in studio we're hanging out we're gonna have an awesome morning talking about health nutrition and we're focusing on caffeine is it good for you is it bad for you can you have too much there's all kinds of ways that you can get it. And a lot of people are pretty big on it. Like even to the point where it's a joke, but they're serious. Like, don't talk to me. I haven't had my morning coffee. Shirts everywhere that talk about no coffee, no talkie. <laughs> Good morning. You're listening to KHEA radio 99.5 FM. This is kickstart. I'm Gardy and I'm Kurt. And we have Dr. Aaron Chapa in studio and we're just talking about, that that interesting saying no coffee no talkie caffeine has become so ingrained into our society it's become such a part of some people and who they are that they have literally joked maybe halfway joking probably serious that <laughs> hey don't talk to me until i have my coffee and then we can talk dr so Chapa, sad how are, to start their day that way good morning I'm, everybody I'm, good morning good morning to you how are you doing man if i'm any better, I'd be twins. There you go. Could you imagine a if there twin was two? version of you? You know, speaking of twins, um, you found out you have a... Oh, no. That's not <laughs> happened. But I was thinking of Dr. Leland uh, Globke. Oh, yeah. He's a twin. twin. Yeah. And they're, I, it's scary. I used to play basketball with them in high school. Yeah. And uh, and and they would walk around and you would just... <laughs> it was... It's a, I mean, it's two like uh, muscular giants walking around. Yeah. I was, I was kind of asking him how he got into uh, his field and all that. And he said his brother got into it first. And then he decided to, after his brother was like, hey, you're kind of really good at, you know, you're good at this. Because he would help him, help him like study for exams and all that stuff. And I was like, I think that your brother was like, hey, I'll go to work one day. You go to work the next day. Nobody will ever know. And then we can kind of have a good thing going yeah, on. Ha yeah, have these. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty brilliant, actually. Yes, yes. So it is Tuesday morning. Feels like a Monday. Yesterday was Labor Day. Good morning, Karen. That was nice. Had a nice, uh, a nice Labor Day, but it's 8.33, Tuesday morning. We're back in the middle of it, but we have a busy day, and I'm excited about the show today. Yeah, we're speaking with Dr. Aaron Chapa about energy, sleeplessness, anything that can kind of affect your daily routine. We actually have caffeine in studio, mm, and I, I have not had I'm about to witness this. Can I see have that not thing? had caffeine in 28 days, beginning of you know August or so. And so this is a brand new month. And he said, hey, we're going to be talking about this. I'm like, okay, so what's going to happen to my, my system if I add caffeine back in today? And basically what I told him is he's going to, I mean, it's, who knows? It'll be like the first time you ever got into it uh, when you inter were introduced to this drink the first time. So when you do Ooh. it, what I think you might feel is a heightened sense of self. Like you will find that you're... <laughs> Uh, brain is a little edgy. Uh, you might even feel like a little bit of a, a jolt, like where you're going to start, you know, fidgeting. Uh, well, that's normal though, right? Fidgeting? Fidgeting is normal for yeah, me. Yeah. So your legs are going to start bouncing. If, if we notice that your uh, heart rate, if you start sweating in studio, I at that point we'll know that you're definitely having a response. I mean, this is a lot. This is a lot of uh, uh, different ingredients put together. This, however, I don't, Am I missing it? I don't see caffeine in here. I don't know. Is yeah. there no caffeine? <laughs> it's caffeine -free. I can tell you what it does have. This is one of those that has artificial sugars. This is like like taking your favorite fruit and sprinkling chlorine all over the top of it. Kurt, what is your favorite fruit? I don't think you have one. But would you do that? Well, like your favorite? Cantaloupe. Maybe watermelon. Cantaloupe. And sprinkling it, chlorine on chlorine. top? Chlorine. You know what chlorine is, right? Yeah. Chlorine is definitely a poison. It's like pool, pool water. 
pool uh, water. Well, pool water in and of itself is okay probably up until they put the chlorine in it, right? <laughs> the well, chlorine... it depends on who, what, what pool we're talking about. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's, you got to remember. <laughs> Kurt's community pool where he grew yeah, up? No. Nah. It's called, it's, we call it the OOL. O-O-L. Okay. See, there's no P. We want to keep it that way. Okay, yes. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, we're we're wow. coming out of summer. We're wow. coming out of summer now, so a little summer, summertime swim talk. Good morning, Facebook. This is Dr. Aaron Chapa. So glad that you guys are tuning in. And I'm glad everybody's here. So basically, this is an energy drink that we're going to have Kurt drink. This is, definitely has uh, some artificial sugars in it. I do not, and I, maybe I'm missing it, because um, it's so ice cold that I'm Ooh. having to rub. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Caffeine. Uh, and so, yeah, pop the top, buddy, and start you know, Let me show, let's show down. Facebook. We are streaming live on Facebook. If you're not following us on there, go to KHEA Radio. Just search that on Facebook or KHEARadio.com. He has a Star Blast Bang Energy Drink full of branch chain amino acids and super creatine, ultra COQ10. There is also zero calories in this. Yeah, that's what happens. Anytime you see most things that are zero calorie, that are sugar free, that are light, uh, you know, whatever the, or zero, you know, those are typically buzzwords for artificial sugars. And so, you know, I was listening to a, a book recently, 30 Ways to Improve Your the, the, a New You or to Build a New You mm -hmm. in 30 Days with 30 Different Habits. You know, it's so hard sometimes to think of how am I going to get motivated to, um, to make a change. And most people don't realize that change happens very – very slowly like it takes approximately 14 to 21 days to reinstate a habit and the hardest part is just getting started mm -hmm. and so we tr we have to create a way to make micro habits is caffeine good for you is that a good way to start your day i'm a firm believer that we should never lean on oh i heard it Pop we should again. never lean on artificial uh, rocket fuel to get our day started if you find yourself no coffee no talkie if you find yourself uh, <laughs> wishing that you know, you, you had an extra two hours of sleep every morning. Awesome. I believe that there is you, that's your body telling you that there's something uh, wrong. Like you shouldn't need anything to function. Like our body needs fuel uh, from food, not artificial rocket fuel, uh, like artificial sugars or uh, sugar itself. Or uh, we need real food, something that grew out of the ground, something that swam, something that flew. Uh, and, and when we eat clean, rich foods, our body should have all that it needs. Cool. Yeah. So how's it taste over there? Buddy? He hasn't I taken a sip it. yet. So for those who are just tuning in to either over the air at 99.5 FM or online at KHEA Radio, we are testing out this Bang Star Blast energy drink. I haven't had caffeine since September 4th. So it's been about a month, 28 days or so, at least 28 days since I've had caffeine in my system. And we're going to see, after not having caffeine for so long, and feeling fantastic, by the way, if I add this back in, what is going to happen? I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Here goes the first sip. I remember me and Kurt were at church, and we took communion. And just the, the taste of the communion was kind of like, boom, it kind of hit you in the face. I felt like I got roundhoused by Grandmaster Garza from Premier Martial Arts because it kind of knocked me back. And Kurt, you took a sip. How, how was that? Good. It tastes great. It does taste good. I've had that flavor. Oh, man. It's so good. <laughs> I remember but I can smell feel it now. I was like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what that tastes like. And it tastes like childhood dreams. It does. I'm not even joking. There's childhood something that we had dreams. in our childhood that that is kind of flavored off of. But it's called Star Blast. Now, I don't know what it is, but there's something that it is from childhood. Oh, it's those, you know, those rocket pops that have like the red white and blue uh, yes okay that's what things. it is it that's is. what it is Rocket star blast pops? so uh, it's a it's like a um not like an ice cream but what's the other one like, like a, a bar like a yeah like a fruit an bar. ice cream bar or like a fruit but an ice pop so you think you know like an ice pop and then it has like i'm thinking like blue white and red and it looks like mm. a, star. a rocket. It looks, yeah, like oh, a rocket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. I yeah. used to get those when I would go visit my aunt in Conroe. Exactly. So this I think that's why it's red, white, and blue. Yeah, so the childhood dreams, you would be like, hey, this reminds me of something from whenever I was a yeah. kid playing in Conroe on so, the lake. You know, <laughs> I, I find that, uh, you know, that I talked to you guys last week about the average American has about 11 meals 
that are oh that didn't look like a that kind of looked no it's does weird it burn going down oh yeah it burns going down the throat does it burn i mean good, you had though? a face it's hard so Burns the so, so we have about 11 meals that we are all accustomed to we recycle those meals over and over and over again mm -hmm. and and so setting habits is a, a really tough thing to do especially when we live in a stress like world we always resort back to our old negative habits and it and we've got to help people shift and change that mindset what you got over there so my wife is watching on the stream first of all she was like good morning i'm enjoying some nice caffeine now she's a, a big tea drinker she likes green tea and just different kinds of tea sure sure and so she said referring to kurt he's gonna shake just like the day that he got choked out <laughs> over here because like you get the jitters and okay i like going to the gym you know just for fun and i used to take pre-workout Every time I went, and I always felt good. Worse for the jitters. Oh, oh man, it is, but it felt so good. I loved feeling that way because then you're amped up and just like almost like shaking. Like I just got to go move some weight. I just got to lift up, find the heaviest thing in here, and I just have to move it. So for me, it, and it still is like a huge transition trying to work out without those caffeine jitters because I haven't had caffeine just as long as Kurt. Now longer, now so longer than Kurt. For, so, and I've always been one too that like would just have like a little bit of like your tea at dinner or something like that. Um, or I would drink iced tea in the daytime. But at the beginning of this year, a friend of mine up in Austin, she's an herbalist and a friend of mine that we you know, talk shop quite a bit about uh, different cases coming in, whether it's chronic fatigue, whether it's, um, you know, it can't get through the end of the day without needing some sort of pick me up. Mm -hmm. uh, these are these are all, by the way, your, your check engine lights going off that you actually need intervention. And she said, you know, uh, about a year ago, she went off of all caffeine, all stimulants. And at the beginning of this year, uh, I decided I was going to go off of all caffeine as well. And I was shocked that little bit of caffeine that I was consuming in just like iced tea um, that I would home brew myself. It wasn't even out of a bottle. I found that it, I was, I had a few days of uh, mild headaches. Mm -hmm. And, and again, anything that can cause you those type of withdrawals. Are, are a sign that you probably don't need it, you know? Yeah. And, and, and so we should, again, it does a, a check engine light. We should never need it. I see the is pupils that, dilating. You know, if you need it and you get headaches, down, is caffeine considered good. like a type of like a, a drug or is it like an altering or what would be the, the proper term for well, caffeine? It's, it's an herb. Uh, I mean, it's just strictly speaking, it's an herb. There is technically nothing wrong with it. I mean, but it is a diuretic in the body. And I think that it goes back to most anything in life. It's about how it's consumed and what type of moderation is it consumed in or excess is it consumed in. And when we overindulge is whenever we find ourselves in a conundrum. Uh, you can get same effects with respect to a sustained level of energy when we put people on uh, adrenal protocols in our office. Uh, and adrenal, your adrenal glands are like your stress energy pump. You see, when your stresses go up, your body produces a hormone called cortisol. And cortisol can tear down bones, muscles, tissues, and cause your body to uh, wear out faster than it should. And therefore, you're always looking for that next thing to push you back over the yeah. hill of you know having to get uh, mental clarity and energy to get through your day. We're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa. This is Kickstart on KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Kurt's drinking a little bit of caffeine for the first time in about a month right now. <laughs> so he's been caffeine-free, no caffeine, just water. And now he's kind of changing it up just to see what happens. So we're talking to D Dr. Aaron Chapa from uh, Clinical Well, Clinical Nutrition. I, I always forget it. Living I, Well. Living Well. Clinical, clinical nutrition, nutrition Center. I got you. In League City, Texas, where we give people alternatives to drugs and surgery. We teach people how to live better, be better, stay better, one bite at a time. We believe that all life starts and stops at the cellular level. And nutrition, guys, is the fundamental backbone to giving your body the resources uh, of good health. And like vice versa, bad health if you eat the wrong foods. Makes sense. I do have a question. There are people and there are products out there that use caffeine and pills to encourage weight loss. Uh huh. yeah. And can you maybe share on that? Because so, I've seen it. You know, think about that. So whenever you take caffeine, when you're, it's just like coffee. That's why the Bulletproof coffee works so well. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's this appetite suppressant. So this is where it's beneficial. Whenever you are habitually leaning on food in your stress moment would it be better to fast a meal 
with caffeine or to eat a Twinkie or a Snickers bar or a, you know, and not Snickers. I mean, just candy bar. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, right? But when you reach to the, uh, the, the sugar and the high calorie foods for comfort, that is where trouble begins to lurk. If you skipped a meal, like for example, one of my uh, my neighbors, uh, he, he got went to the Deerleys this weekend. Well, most of the time people go hunting up in the country, right? Like mm-hmm. there's not a lot of, there's not a health food store lurking around, right? There's not a grocery store, much less uh, in proximity because you're kind of camping, right? right? And a lot of times you eat processed packaged food. And he said that he couldn't find anything to eat, so he stops in at a fast food restaurant. And that fast food restaurant, he goes, I felt like there was a brick in my stomach for five hours as I drove home. And I'm thinking, well, it's because you ate fake food. And the best you'll ever have, guys, is make-believe health if you eat make-believe food, right? So I want to teach people that, hey, he should have skipped that meal and just – but yeah, it would have been five hours for I ate. Okay, then you know, find a, a caffeine drink, get you a, you know, a, get you a, a coffee, and put some butter in it. You know, and the fat will sustain you, has zero impact on your blood sugar. The caffeine will suppress the appetite. And in, then at that stage, would it have been as detrimental as putting processed fat, partially hydrogenated oil, or high fructose corn syrup? Because I know we got a diet product. Or high fructose corn syrup, if, you, if, you know, I think his you know, kid probably got the high fructose uh, variety of, of drink. And, um, and then the, the, this whole combination of eating, MSG would probably be in those uh, that fast food restaurant as well. He took in the four deadly food additives in some capacity, and so by avoiding that, that's that's the best thing he could he would have done for himself. And no one's ever died missing a five hour meal, right? That's true. I mean, they've gone a lot longer. Definitely. So let's go back to the caffeine, then like the drinks that we've been talking about, because you said like maybe Jet has some. Good morning, Caffeine. Al. Good to see you, buddy. And we've had Bang probably every morning that we were on the radio. So if we're doing something like this every single morning before we did the 21-day cleanse, what is that doing to our system? Well, yeah, well, number one, it's creating a level of dependency. And your body, just like we all are creatures of habit, and we all tend to lean towards ease we nobody wants to do the hard things you know there's a concept of motivation versus willpower what what do you need more of your motivation wears off once the excitement wears off the bo- it, boredom begins to set in and and boredom um <laughs> is where we get in trouble because mm-hmm. then we're looking for something to stimulate us caffeine well is a stimulant sugar's a stimulant uh, the, these artificial substances in our food are stimulants. Wheat, dairy are stimulants. They stimulate opioid recept- uh, opiate receptors in our brain. They give you a sense of high where you feel good when you eat it. And, and instead, we live in a world where we're go, go, go all the time. And then whenever we do get a moment to shut down in the evening, we don't have a whole lot of time because we got to do homework with our kids or we got, you know, appointments th- with our kids' schedules in the evening. I mean, it's like from a parental perspective, I mean, it's go time all the time. You know, and, and so getting that opportunity to unwind and shut down, well, then we don't do that because we got all these lights overhead. We've got TVs blasting. We've got our cell phones that we're staring at. We've got un unprecedented amount of stimulation coming in from all angles and whenever whenever we start inventorying the amount of um, stimulation that we're putting in our body our body's living in an adrenal cortisol manufacturing plant and it's only a matter of time before your body just can't keep up with that type of stimulation day in and day out we did have a question on our Facebook live page and this comes from Larry Walker Larry Walker asked so what do we drink besides water uh, well, number one, your body is made up of mostly water. Uh, mm-hmm. When you're born, 70% water. Uh, you're, as a male, you should be between uh, 60 and 65% water. A female should be between 57 and 63% water. Uh, and, and so we should be drinking primarily water. Now, let's talk about Talk and Shop on how do we make water more fun. You can infuse fruit in it. They have those pitchers now where you can put a infused fruit in the center of your pitcher as well as um, herbal teas that are non-caffeine based. So I like 
personally the uh, Yogi variety. There's tons of great ones, but I like vanilla hazelnut. If you like vanilla hazelnut, it tastes sweet, like I'm getting something pleasant to my taste buds, but it's water because there's no caffeine. It's just using herbs that actually are very, you know, natural and and unstimulating to the body. That's like there's there's no real uh, boost that I'm getting from that. Uh, I use berry uh, berry flavored teas, um, and and I use a I lean on a lot of tea for that. I also use this a product called Ultima Refresher, which is going to have low hand fruit and stevia as a um, sweetener, um, but it is electrolytes. It's a healthy Gatorade that we use in our office, and um, you can visit our website at justlivewell.com and and get our information, or just call us at two eight one five five four eight six. Zero zero, and my daughter just asked me that this morning before school. Hey, can you bring home some more of those little uh, Ultima packets? Uh, because she can take it and pour it in a bottle of water on mm -hmm. the go when she's at school, and she can um, share it with her friends. And she's got a healthy, you know, drink other than water. It's a great question. You it's, know, one of the oh, sorry, Cardi, did you have a question? I was just wondering, does it come like a crystal light packet? Yeah, exactly. But okay. instead of it being you Something know else? loaded with artificial sugars, uh, it's going to be clean ingredients yeah, things that you in, can you check can, it out exactly cool yeah, and we, go ahead. we had a we had somebody in earlier um probably about a couple months ago and she she does lipo like laser lipo to like that puts around and like shrinks your waist and she also owns a nutrition bar okay and uh you know it's a, a place where you can go get a healthy shake and a, a healthy meal replacement shake but you know one of the things that she said is we we don't ever think twice about going through a fast food drive through But when it comes to things that are healthy, we like raise an eye or, or something. Somebody says, hey, this is healthy for you. We raise an eye. And one of the things that I've learned kind of over the last couple of months since talking to you is, yeah, something can still say that it's healthy and be loaded with bad ingredients. And I, I noticed last week I was going to get a package of Brussels sprouts, right? And I had now constantly am in checking my ingredients i look really like weird in the grocery store because i'm like literally putting my hands on everything and flipping it around and checking the ingredients well these brussels sprouts were loaded like pre-packaged all ready to go were loaded with fake oil cannoli oil and so i it's weird but should we be critical of things that when they say this is healthy for you should we still be critical of it the way that we should in order to make sure that we're putting the right ingredients right. in our body. They, they say that, you know, it, it, don't judge a book by its cover. But we all do judge, and we should judge, and especially when it comes to the stuff you're putting in your body. And when, when we eat artificial or fake food, the best we'll ever ever have is make-believe health. That's an assured, you know, assurance that you can take to the bank. Uh, you can't live on, on fake fuel and expect a good return. Uh, canola oil uh, is definitely... GMO, it's definitely or genetically modified is basically what that means. And you have to wonder why are they contaminating? Why can't they just sell you frozen Brussels and then you go home and add your own oil, right? And so marketing dollars are competing for all of our pocketbook. Wants us, and we and we all vote with our dollar. And so what we buy and what we don't buy dictates what the stores carry. And we know that's true. I mean, I know that's true because when I started in practice 13 years ago, uh, the, the, the local grocery store had a very limited supply next to, you know, close to our office of healthy, quote unquote, what I would call healthy food. And now there's an entire aisle dedicated to healthy food. People are voting with their dollar and they're changing the stores. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. We're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa this morning. I have a couple things. Me and my wife were at the grocery store yesterday. We were at HEB. I love HEB. They have a variety of, of healthy things, and they have all kinds of good stuff. So we were in the vegetable department, the produce. There are some vegetables that are pre-cut up, which I enjoy. I love doing that because that takes out some of the work. They're a little bit more, but sometimes, like you said, we're on the go, and it's the convenience. Right. So there were also some toppings. And it looked like a little packet, probably about as big, a little, I mean, like maybe two Kool-Aid packets put together, but it had a liquid in there and it said, hey, tear this open and put it on vegetables, like put it in a package of vegetables. And so my wife was like, oh, that looks good because there was like an orange pepper or something like that. And it sounded good. So she looked at the back and instantly started reading the ingredients because she knew I was about to do it. And like the first thing said canola oil. And she looked at me, she said, you're not going to eat this, are you? I said, no. 
because yeah, you put it back and, on the on and, the thing. And look, this is and it is it's frustrating because it's a very common. You'll see a lot of packages will have, um, it'll say canola oil or palm oil or you know palm some sort of fractionation of an oil, and it's whatever they have in season at the time. You know, gotcha. they are getting it from the ground, but the problem is, is this GMO issue is a real issue. It's genetically engineering the seed, and the seeds are deformed they're not what god intended for us to be consuming and 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 so the question is is well dr chapa do you eat any of these things not knowingly you know i'm like you i'll i'll walk past it if it's got it in there if i'm in a it, will i always 100 percent stick to that rule i mean i don't i can't say that that's always an absolute truth but i'm talking mm -hmm. more than 95 percent of the time I'm, I'm i will choose otherwise Okay, my wife Probably. also asked on the Facebook live stream if honey is a better option than just plain sugar. Yeah, absolutely. So, blackstrap molasses, very high in nutrients. Honey, maple syrup, real maple syrup, not the processed kind that we're all buying or throwing in a microwave. I remember as a kid, we used to have this uh, product that we would literally put in a microwave and and you would warm it up and it had this little cool sign that would let you know that it was warm because i mean who doesn't love like warm syrup right right and and but every time i was doing that i didn't realize you know i'm just mutating this syrup bottle every morning all that plastic <laughs> is emitting right. goodness of estrogens and fake you know hormone mimickers into my body and you know no wonder i had a weight issue as a kid you know and i had high cholesterol and i had issues and and, and then my parents were told to take me off of eggs because eggs are the devil, right? This was the mantra back in, uh, mantra back in the, the, the late 80s. Was it cholesterol? Yeah, is that why? Yeah, yeah, cholesterol, you know. But the reality is your body makes over 80% of its own cholesterol reserves. The 20% that you're going to consume out of the diet isn't going to alter your cholesterol overall number drastically compared to what your body's producing. So if a body is producing elevated cholesterol, then that's a check engine light. Why would it be doing that? via protection it's trying to protect you i think we have a question before we get to that me and my wife we get our honey from uh, a lady that we know she actually goes to church with us and we want to go and do a field trip as khea oh, she has a cool. ranch you know over in santa fe where she bottles her own honey and then sells it so the first one it was kind of like a, a deal she blessed us with it got you know you get hooked on it and then we're like okay hey we need some more honey and then we, so this is khea radio it's kickstart we broadcast every weekday, 8.30 to 11 a.m. right here on Facebook. You can check out our website, khearadio.com. Listen over the air, 99.5 FM, and any other way that you can get it, get us on the TuneIn app. We're streaming live on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, and we, and we just want people to know, like, like living healthy can be fun. Like, it, which sometimes I sit down and I talk to people, and, and when you listen to, like, all these negatives about food, it makes it a little discouraging. A little bit. You know, and, mm -hmm. and so you really have to not let it go there. You have to make food fun. Last night we made a uh, Thai dish. Um, you know, we got the kids enrolled in slicing up uh, cucumbers. We always teach them where your fingers go when you're dealing with a knife. And the answer is anywhere but under the blade. Uh, <laughs> and, wow. And, 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 and so, but we incorporate them into the, in, into the cooking experience. And uh, we had a, um, you know, basically a, a Thai chicken dish with, and we had lettuce tacos and, um, and, and they had, we had some, you know, rice noodles. You were asking if I ever eat grains. Uh, there was some rice noodles involved there. Um, and, but it was carrots and uh, cilantro and cucumbers and, and uh, uh, cab purple cabbage. And we made this the most beautiful tacos ever. And they tasted fantastic with a chicken base. And the kids just gobbled it up. I mean, it's fun whenever you get the kids enrolled in the kitchen and you make it fun. We try to plan out, you know, uh, our meals for two weeks of what we might incorporate and we make it fun and then we eat leftovers the next day this morning before school you know uh, you could do something like boiled eggs uh, to, to make ha habits small is you have to like how, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time one I know bite that one. at uh, a time that's very good wait what yeah how do you eat an elephant because it's so big it's a, it's like a giant task and you have to you know you gotta you gotta oh, micro not like actually eat an elephant like, no no no, no we don't actually, actually doing that. Yeah, it's oh actually, it might very well be illegal to eat elephants. I don't know. Maybe Sammy's Wild Game Grill would have it. We're going to find out. <laughs> you could ask. Uh, but the but 
the, the big task, we, we nibble it down into small incremental bite-sized pieces. And that's why I always say one bite at a time. Everything you put in your body, whether it's the water you're drinking, whether it's the, um, the food you're eating, is, is potentially giving you life or it's taking it away. And so we want to do more things that are beneficial. And uh, I definitely have my areas where I go and uh, cheat, but it's few and far between. And I lean towards uh, real food the majority of the time. Yeah, so it is nine o'clock. Hey, You're Denise, talking to, to Dr. You. Aaron Chapa from Dr. Chapa Clinical Nutrition. And we have a quick question here from Julie. And Julie asked, I've been doing the keto diet for the past three weeks. What's your opinion on the keto diet? Do you think it's safe? And that's one of the things that we've seen. A lot of people on a keto. A lot of people are switching to the keto diet. They're and getting keto, results too. Keto diet is just fats, right? Right. So basically, here's the deal. Um, the keto diet, the, in, in most diets that people switch to, remember, the if we're eating processed food and we're eating a lot of wheat products, a lot of grains in our diet, and then we go to something uh, extreme like a keto diet or a paleo diet, um, what are we doing? What you eat is important, but what you don't eat is more important, especially in a world where we're inundated with uh, wheat, dairy, corn, soy as genetic engineered foods, mutated foods, you know, definitely not healthy versions of food, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we get into these artificial ingredients that people are consuming. Well, all that stuff is taken out when you do a keto diet. So absolutely. Um, another friend of mine got on a keto diet, got off his blood pressure medication in a month. Um, so is it safe? It is safe. It's it, because Fat has no impact on blood sugar, and we live in a world where we're overstimulating our blood sugar pathways, and we're not stimu uh, stimulating our body's ability to sustain itself without that constant, you know, trickling in of sugar through processed food and processed ingredients. Whenever we talk about fat, like what are ways to get fat? Because I know there's like people say avocados, it's the yeah, good it's kind good of though. fat. There's also like cooking with butter, you know, real butter, not like margarine or like even country crock, which right, right. I grew up eating. That's right. But so what other other ways to get fat? Like, I mean, I think of a piece of meat and it has fat, like, you know, like the moist piece of whatever. Yeah, you're probably not going to chew the, that, the gristle. You know, that gristle, but you, some people enjoy that, by the way. You know, you're looking at one. I mean, uh, and <laughs> but here's the thing is... Um, fat comes in many varieties that is we call them saturated fats. some people believe that saturated fats are is the number one cause of heart disease I don't believe that at all uh, but again because fat doesn't cause blood sugar spikes it doesn't stress your cortisol pathways from a dietary stress perspective um, and so fat is avocado coconut mm -hmm. oil coconut butter those are those are three good ones you've got uh, and talking about saturated we got tallow which is your beef fat We've got lard at your pork grease. Do you remember, as a, did your parents as a kid ever save the pork grease and reuse it? Um, I know they would bottle stuff up, but then they would dispose of it properly. But I don't know if we did. Yeah, Probably. so my mom always would literally save the bacon grease. Okay. And she had this little stainless steel container with a lid on it. She mm -hmm. would pour the, the fresh grease on top of the old grease, and it would just saturate right in. And it would be hard at room temperature. Um, so, you know, and then she would take a spoonful of that and throw it in the next morning's you know, um, eggs until she was told otherwise, you know, yeah. and then they all, then they stopped doing that when they took me off of eggs and, uh, put me on margarine and, right. and oatmeal because, you know, supposedly oatmeal is good for you. I don't think so. Um, but here's the thing. Um, uh, so it goes coconut oil, avocado, um, tallow, which is beef fat, which they do sell at the store, by the way, duck fat. They sell that at stores as well, already bottled up mm -hmm. and it's very rich in flavor, tastes fantastic. Uh, bacon grease is fantastic, and um, I don't think I'm th missing any. But then you go into your po your uh, polyunsaturates, which would be like olive oil, um, is always good. And then your avocado oil is really really nice because it, avocado oil is very easy to cook at high temperatures. So like where olive oil is less fragile, is more fragile at higher temperatures, olive oil can um, avocado oil can handle it. Cool. So I'm thinking about some of the stuff that I grew up eating and things that I like eating and whenever you cool like okay if you have a hot have you ever had menudo M menudo menudo yeah i have had menudo but i'm not it's pork right i think i mean you can cook it however because it's something that you make at home so it depends on yeah it, it'll be pork i mean it can be whatever you want in there really i mean but i know whenever you cook it you eat it and then like if you have a leftover pot you put it in the fridge it's hard it right. looks like like gelatin it looks like straight up fat is yeah. in there and then when you warm it up 
I remember I showed my wife like I was like, well, you just kind of got to scoop it in here in the bowl, <laughs> and it's all like bits and pieces, and then the microwave, and it goes back to and, where it is. And once you get past that kind of ooh, that's kind of weird, because uh, <laughs> again, everything's weird until we realize it. Lauren yeah. says uh, on my Facebook run, she says that uh, she cooks all of her vegetables in avocado oil. Go, Lauren, you you rock. So we got another question. So Rockwell Aguilar, who we have known uh, for a long time. And he's actually, he lives in my neighborhood. He All said, right. wait, I'm, e I'm eating oatmeal right now. Is that, why is that not good for you? Well, number one, are you eating steel cut oats? Are you eating rolled oats? Are you eating the, you know, tear the package and throw it in a bowl of oats? That's the question. If you're eating, yeah. what do you, do you already know? No, I think he's given some time to answer, but I'm thinking for myself in the past, when I do, it's like, Hey, you know, peaches and cream and yeah, I just yeah, open yeah, it yeah. up and I put the hot stuff so, in there. So now you have to do what Kurt was doing earlier. Look at those ingredients. A lot of times you'll see sugar, or high fructose corn syrup variety sugar. You'll see that it's a rolled oat, processed oat. It's definitely not, you know, a steel cut oat um, type of variety of food that we should be consuming. So we have an answer. What do you got? Take a guess. It's from a, a local place. They sell a lot of caffeine and they also have some breakfast items. It's Starbucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, got it. So yeah, and, and and I'm again not sure uh, how they prepare their their food, so I can't answer him specifically. But in general, when you start your day with sugar, you're going to need more stimulation. So you remember the in the past when I first got into practice, the the, the idea was we were all on the ups and downs diet. You would eat three main meals and two snacks in between, mm -hmm. right? And then that would put you get you set and ready for sleep. Uh, what I like found with the whole keto movement and the paleo movement is when you eat more fats you can eat one meal it's very sustainable that's where intermittent fasting now has gotten popular because people realize I'm not hungry you know mm -hmm. I'm going eight hours without a meal and um, or 16 hours some people you know how whatever people are doing I've, I've heard people do all kinds of different varieties and I think it's what works for your body uh, on the intermittent fasting uh, but but when you eat good healthy fats, you're not hungry. And that's because your blood sugar is not being spiked by the food that you're consuming. And then it's just a matter of managing your day-to-day -day stresses. And then waking up and saying to yourself, you know, I'm gonna have a, a goal today of uh, I'm gonna have a goal today of being thankful. I'm gonna have a goal today of, you know, reaching towards starting my day right for this week. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just eat you know, eggs and bacon this week and see how my body does. You know, we don't have to make this extreme shift into keto. Um, although, man, you want to see some fast, fun results. You can do anything for two weeks. And, you know, that's what we do at our office. We build nutrition plans that are customized to the people. Like people come in with all kinds of stuff. So we don't have a cookie cutter, you know, you know protocol that we put people through. People come and see us for all kinds of stuff, whether it's hormone issues, whether it's energy fatigue issues. If you and 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 it's, it really, I hate to, I don't want to say it's easy because it's never easy. People come in with some very complex things because, yeah, you know, they I didn't get them sick and I'm not getting them healthy, right? I'm teaching them, coaching them, guiding them, and their body is undoing whatever it developed in their bad lifestyle habits prior to coming in and seeing us. We're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa. This is Kickstart. We're on every weekday, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Let's go check in on Kurt. He's having caffeine for the first time. Let me see that, that, that can and see how much you drink. He's having caffeine for the first time in about a month. And this, this thing is almost gone. I, I would guess there's probably about this much left in there. Okay. If you want to check that out. If you're watching on our Facebook live so, stream, you can see the can. It's, it's how are you feeling over there, Kurt? You've been quiet. Bang. I'm shaking. Are, are you? you about to I do feel... Dancing? Um, it's not a good shake. It's, this is not a good feeling. My stomach feels bloated. Um, <laughs> I, I don't feel like I have good clarity right now. Do like, you feel, I feel hungry? Like, like your brain kind of shut off, didn't it? Uh, like, yeah, a little bit. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> is he mumbling? No, it's seriously, this is a weird I feeling. A I do not like this there? feeling at all. Right now, I, I want to... Wish you could stop? Yes. So here's the and now here's the deal that could affect you for three days. Take a sip. And now and people say, well, how's that possible? It'll wear off. It will away. wear off. Like, the symptoms will wear off. Mm -hmm. But the, the 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 product ingredients in there could potentially have impact on your body for three days. So let me ask you this. I literally so okay for the last week <laughs> since since we ended the challenge, I have not had anything. Last night I had pork for the very first time in 28 days. 
And today I'm adding caffeine. And one of the things that I've noticed is when I went to the fruits and veggies only, where I was only eating fruit and ve fruits and veggies and eating clean, I didn't have runny noses. I wasn't sniffling. I, I woke up this morning and I didn't have any runny nose. But the minute I started drinking this, my nose now on the left-hand side is clogged. Is, is clogged and running. Isn't that weird? So no, it, I think that when you get so look, this is so much fun that you're doing this, and I know it. You know, at at your expense of health, uh, you're you're being a, a good you know show for people uh, on KG Radio. And and here's the thing, when you get a response like that inside of what have we been on the air now, you know, twenty thirty minutes, about and, forty minutes, and, yeah. and, and and what winds up happening is that response is a beautiful case for you to say wow this what i just did to myself intake wise is affecting my brain it's affecting my nose i mean i'm just looking at you uh, and you look like you actually have rosy cheeks a little bit a little bit of a rosy nose where you didn't I'm have sweating that. i feel hot yeah and it's not hot in here right so is it, it's definitely not hot is it bad to actually, build an immunity to that guardy actually took his jacket off yeah yeah um, i'm sweating so maybe he is hot. I don't know. But well, it's cold. it was like rainy outside, but I've, I that was your rain now. jacket. Yeah. Yeah. So again, can you build an immunity? Your body will build up adaptive properties to it. But what else could it be doing? Again, I just told you there's there's definitely artificial sugars in that drink, and there's definitely a lot of octane of mm -hmm. other herbs and nutrients that he's mixing and matching together. And then the caffeine primarily is what's driving this experience for him. And, and one of the things that he noticed doing um, the diet is his, his allergies improved drastically. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, that was nice for me. I got one question here. So somebody said, because everybody worries about being uh, fat, and they say, uh, does keto, eating all that fat, make you fat or gain weight? I don't think people are fat, by the way. I think that the body's fat cells swell up seven times the size of normal due to a toxic storage situation mm -hmm. problem. And, and the, the body's holding on to water. And so when the body's holding on to water, the body uh, will store toxins in the brain. And that's what's happening right now, that, that those toxins are penetrating uh, Kurt's brain. They'll also in a lot of times, and that's why you can't remember where you walk into a room. You can't remember right. names, numbers, and words. You struggle with all kinds of mental clarity issues. But then it gets stored in fat cells. And those fat cells are just doing what, you would hope your body was designed to do and it's to save you when you do silly things and then the last place your body stores toxins is in the joints and that's where people walk around with pain in their body i have a quick question because i've been talking to people you know one of the things that we've shifted away from when we went away from caffeine was you know you said hey for that first couple of days the minute you do it it's gonna it's gonna be tough and so you're gonna have headaches you're gonna because it's a drug you're addicted to caffeine yeah and I've had a lot of people tell me, like, why do I want to put my body through a couple of days where I'm going to feel awful by going off caffeine, where I'm going to have headaches? And when you're like, well, I can get rid of this headache by just having more caffeine. So I'm going to keep doing ca I can't go a day without coffee because right. if I go a day without coffee, then I have headaches. How do you talk to those people who tell you that, like, hey, suffer for a couple of days. Right. But once you get through those couple of days, it's going to be fine. Okay. So... My name is Dr. Aaron Chapa. I own Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. This is what we do at our office is we coach people and help them understand why their body is breaking down. And when we have patients come in, they do what's called Dr. Chapa's Five Steps to Health, and we do a timeline history on the front end of that. And so when we do a history, um, uh, we are finding that their body has lots of ailments, lots of symptoms. Everything from headaches to migraines to allergies to hormone disruption to skin rashes to sleep issues to f energy fatigue, mental clarity problems, joint pain, you name it, their body is dealing with it, right? Mm -hmm. We try to structure a protocol and then help them sh and show them through, a, uh, you know, through diet logging how many stimulants they're putting in their body day in and day out. And then we challenge them in small bite-sized increments, two-week increments, where we challenge them that they can see change in their overall global effects. Now, some of these people come in past the land of symptom land, and they go into diagnosed land, which means they've actually been diagnosed with a disease. And when they're diagnosed with a disease, 
like if they keep doing what if you, you ever heard of this, if you keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result they call that insanity insanity that's yes. right so we have to do something different in order to get a different result so the caffeine even though the headache will temporarily go away whenever you put a little back in if you think that I'm just going to use it as a drug and paint over the rust uh, the rust is showing up in other places of your body and that's through other symptoms and they're and these are check engine lights so the question is is are you suffering enough that you're willing to make some of these lifestyle changes patients that come in have you ever heard of fibromyalgia it's a body pain issue right where they have headaches chronic fatigue their body aches everywhere they have tender places all over their system and they have a slew of other ailments and a lot of times it's all blood sugar related and we take them off of stimulants and we start slowing down their body because when we're in a if we're stressed out in life and now we're stressed out biochemically and we can now slow down the biochemical stress because maybe they're not ready to stop chasing their tail on their schedule, but they're willing to change what they can in their diet. Hey, I can go without that. I can skip a meal. I can do intermittent fasting. I can do keto. Um, I can do some of these things. We are now giving them tools via things that they can control that doesn't completely alter their family's life. Like you skipping Coke or sk skipping a caffeine, you know, ro rocket booster drink, uh, like you're doing there, um, isn't hurting Guardy. It isn't going to hurt, you know, your girlfriend um, if you choose to go without. But drinking water, um, you know, for yourself, empowers your body to detox. It empowers your body to rehydrate in a healthy way. And it allows your body to almost give yourself a morning bath. I mean, did everybody drink their 30 ounces of water this morning? Give me a thumbs up on Facebook, everybody, if you drink your 30 ounces of water first thing in the morning. I, I hope so. I did. And so <laughs> to yeah, I, I, did, up. I did too. So, <laughs> so, I, and, and so here's the thing. For me, um, one of the things that uh, – so going back to that question, eating fat doesn't make you fat. Um, eating fat is a normal process your body needs. We have essential fatty acids in our body. Essential means they are a must, right? Yes. We have essential amino acids in our body. We have to have protein. But we don't have essential carbohydrates. Yeah, that's you know? true. I mean, it's kind of a weird physiological thought, but what is the, what's up with that? People love bread. It's good. It, it, it tastes really good. And I guess that's part of it because the way it's explained is like, okay, you eat bread, it turns into sugar, and it goes to your brain, and it's like it makes you feel good. It gives you those, those feelings that you get whenever you eat candy as a kid. I mean, it's the same chemical reactions, right? It, oh, absolutely. So um, we don't <laughs> – when you put in – you have these uh, receptor sites in your body, and when you put in fake fuel, they're competing – for those receptor sites, which give you brain power or take that brain power away. Uh, Chrissy just asked, you know, how do you get rid of toxins if they are eating mostly clean already? Aha. Uh -huh. So when we're eating, so again, it could be as simple, we got to drink more water. 32 ounces per 50 pounds of body weight is a good rule of thumb, especially for all the exercisers out there. Um, and, and then whenever it comes to getting rid of toxins, we actually sometimes have to assist the body the body should be able to deal with these toxins but i think again we're inundated in today's world and that's why i always say that if detox isn't a part of your 21st century healthcare plan you're missing a huge piece yeah and so if you're already eating relatively clean well maybe you should check the ingredients like kurt was talking about because there's marketing dollars being spent on good advertising and it still has bad ingredients in it Dr. Chopper, I want to jump into just kind of jumping off of that really <laughs> fast. Uh, you know, we're talking to Dr. Aaron Chopper. You're listening to 99.5 FM KHEA radio. One of the things that also with the caffeine is every morning I used to do this complete cookie. It's a Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. This is the Snickerdoodle flavor. They have a whole bunch mm. of flavors. They Ooh, have like a chocolate mint. Sounds good. I love Snickerdoodle. This is, this is literally what my breakfast was. And the cool part about this, well, it's not necessarily the cool part, but on the back, if you read, because they hide the ingredients. If you're watching on Facebook, you can't see the ingredients. They put the yeah, the, the label, they package it right. Package where, it right where the ingredients are covered. And it's sealed. You have to kind of tear it a little tear bit. Tear it a little bit to see it. But, you know, it has the nutrition facts up top. And on the back, it says facts. 16 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber, zero 
grams of trans fat, non-GMO, no soy ingredients, no dairy ingredients, no egg, vegan, kosher, fresh baked, no high fructose corn syrup, no cholesterol. But then, and you did the same thing. You have to peel back the, the almost tab. tear the label, which like, you won't probably won't do oh, at the pl at the store. I'm struggling here. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> oh, we can hear it. Don't worry. On the ingredients, the first thing that pops <laughs> up is enriched flour. Uh, so let's talk about enriched. When you see the word enriched flour, um, enriched means that they have basically taken the key ingredients that God intended it to be in wheat out, and they put back fake or synthetic vitamins back into it. So it's like, hey, you got a hundred bucks in your pocket over there, Kurt? No. Oh, well, if you well, got, if you I got, did, if you had hundred bucks, <laughs> and I said, hey, I'm going to take that from you, and I'm going to give you twenty bucks back. That's about how good of that enriched that they gave you. They shortchange you. And uh, and I got, you know, Wendy brings up a good point when it comes to eating and, uh, and drinking healthily, changing lifestyle habits. Um, eat your water. Have you ever heard of that concept? Mm -mm. Eating, your, eat, eating your water is eating fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. that are, you know, more juicy in nature as a, as a good tool uh, of getting water in your body as well. Celery, it, cucumber. I mean, absolutely. So that is technically water. That's, and that's a good uh, idea. Thanks for that, uh, Wendy. Thank you. I know I've juiced before, like in a, in a processor where you like put it in and put it down and then like a cucumber, just water. Yeah. But then like the ones that I wanted, like some of the fruit, I'm just like barely getting any juice out of it. Yeah. And you're <laughs> like, man, but you know, look here, it, it, so the four deadly foods that I try to get people to, to recognize, and, and, and this is no fun in a world that is built around these foods. And I mean, I even I have great mentors that I respect dearly that still consume dairy products. Um, but what I have found and what my practice has taught me, and so nothing that I teach, nothing that I um, ask patients to do in my practice are just like, you know, mundane theories and stuff that I have. This is what clinically my practice has shown me over 13 years is whenever I take foods away from people and I can help their, you know, MS symptoms go away, or I can help their chronic fatigue symptoms go away, or I can support their body's immune system from being chronically, you know, ill day in and day out. Um, I find that it's worth making those changes and recognizing that if food can make, you know, or in, in this case with Kurt, his brain turn off, by putting in the substance that he was over there sucking down, um, what would happen if he ate that cookie too? You know, know. it is loaded with a lot of you know protein. What kind of protein is it, by the way? I don't know. Uh, it's probably whey protein. So rice, it. it says protein blend, which is pea protein, rice protein, vital wheat, and gluten. Vital wheat gluten. Okay, Interesting. so it's a it's a plant protein you know product, but it's mostly a. I mean, really, it's interesting that it has, you know, 13 grams of protein. How many? 16, it said. 16 and a half. What like, about, so a half of the cookie has. So this 16. is an interesting thought, too. That, but see, wheat in the body converts to sugar. So it might on the label be like that, but your body will resource that into carbs. And, and, and so it's like when if you take a potato, for example, and you cut it in half and you pull the center out of the potato and then you fill that shell back full of sugar that's how much sugar your body is resourcing out of that potato hmm. that's a ton of sugar what about a, a radish like uh you know when you cut open a, i think it's a radish i was somewhere the other day and i had uh, a radish put in oh it was a delta blues and i had ordered like some of their mixed veggies and oh, that's where yeah. they had some something like that came in and i was like is this a potato my wife was like no it's not i was like well it looks like a potato i don't really like potatoes anyways plus i didn't want to risk it and i was like no i'm just gonna eat the, the veggies out so the, so again, at Delta Blues, I mean, I think it's a Papa's chain. I mean, they typically use pretty good ingredients. I mean, I sure hope so for the price you're going to pay. Yeah, it was delicious. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and But so um, they're, they have Brussels sprouts there that are absolutely whew, amazing. And um, But I, I would have probably eaten some of the potato. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think, you know, white potatoes aren't necessarily the best for you, okay? But you, you know what a good substitute for white potatoes are? Turnips. They literally taste the same. That's what it was. It was a turnip. It wasn't a radish. It was a turnip inside of... So I had like this kale salad, which was delicious. And then I had another thing of, of veggies and they had a turnip in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So turnips are absolutely rich. This is a great root vegetable and people love it. And uh, I would totally uh, encourage people to eat it. Cool. Um, so look, 
Hey, my name is Dr. Aaron Chapa. I own Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. We have a great team of people at our office uh, that are standing by. We're going to be at the office today here just a little bit, uh, taking care of patients um, and all week long. And we have a great, uh, you know, clinical nutrition staff. Uh, one of my colleagues, Jennifer Withy, uh, has been out, you know, sent us a great testimonial this weekend of a patient that had an anxiety uh, for the last like three or four years of her life, and inside of a weekend has slept better, less anxiety, and uh, just sent kind of a group text to us uh, as a team and. Uh, at our office and and we're excited because people's lives are changing you know and food is medicine and so we want to encourage you to visit our website at justlivewell.com and uh, give us a shout at 281-554-8600 and be open uh, to changing your habits changing your life and and recognizing that feeling good um, is worth it um, you'll get you'll be more productive. You'll be you'll make better memories with your family. Uh, you don't have to live on you know medications. The average of a 55 year old right now is on five medications, you know. And so let's not be that a statistic of the average. Let's be above average uh, on KHE Radio and uh, you know partnering with I like the Living it. Well Clinical Nutrition Center. I like it. You know, so, one of the, uh, sorry, really fast. Spit it out, Kurt. You I got to go it. back to this really fast to the ingredients that, that we're putting in our just body. Just let Lenny's and Larry, just let them live, Kurt. Just, we're trying to chop them up, man. Let <laughs> okay, them do gum. okay, gum is one of the ingredients in here. It's like is it guar, guar gum? Guar gum. Yeah, it's a thickening agent. And so... For me, it's just weird to see that in the the ingredients. Is that stuff that I'm taking the cookie away from? Again, Kirk. we've been talking a lot about like fruits and vegetables. You know, when you turn it over, if it's healthy, you should be able to read what's in the labels. When I see the word gum, I don't want to put that. Yeah, know, guar gum. You wonder what it is. It's just a thickening agent. It's a type of uh, material that it's not a necessarily a processed thing. Straight up eating um, gum. Yeah, you're not eating like bigly chew. Or Bubblicious. <laughs> Right, so real quick question, uh, what are the four killer foods again? Wheat, dairy, corn, soy, um, in that order. Uh, and sometimes three and four flip-flop because uh, uh, of of whatever they're doing to it. But typically wheat, dairy, corn, and soy are things that you want to be uh, removing. And challenge yourself. Take one of those ingredients and pull it out of your diet. So we could do all these labor-intensive tests uh, where we, we stick people with uh, IgE studies and look for allergies. And I'll be honest with you, IgE studies, they are inadequate whenever it comes to food allergy testing, in my opinion. I think that uh, if you have an extreme sensitivity, you have other symptoms that we would have caught long before if we would have done a thorough, detailed history. And what I find that if you get off of one of these ingredients for two weeks and then take the next one out uh, another two weeks, you will start to observe the most labor-intensive thing to do is to do a food elimination. And that's going to be wheat, dairy, corn, and soy over the course of uh, two-week windows. Mm -hmm. And then you reintroduce it slowly. Wheat, dairy, corn, soy. Remove it and then reintroduce it slowly. Put in dairy. They go have a dairy day and don't eat pizza because that's wheat and dairy. You want to do one at a time reintroduction and your body within three days, within minutes to three days will give you that type of response and you will get mental clarity issues. You'll have joint pain come back. You'll feel your body's not performing like it's supposed to. One more thing. Um, me and Kurt, we did the 21 de day detox. We did a cleanse where we eliminated a lot of things and kind of just broke it down to the basics. Fruit and vegetables started that's with it. that. Now we introduced some some meat, and then on Friday we had a little bit of pork. Waited a couple days, and then last night we ate pork again. Some pork ribs, they were really good. I feel great. I feel normal. Kurt, how are you feeling? I felt weird instantly. Like I, I could taste the difference from from like some of the chicken and turkey that we'd been eating, and I felt my stomach expanding even just the minutes after eating it. And Kurt asked, he's like, well, why didn't, why? He said, do you feel funny? I was like, I feel great. You know, my wife ate it, felt great. Um, he but likes, I did not. But remember, he likes menudo. I like menudo, yeah. See, I like how he says it, <laughs> menudo, menudo. menudo. So why so, was my response okay, different which, to his? So for me, um, I'm gonna tell you the exact same thing happened. I had a friend of mine, he is a stickler for the quality of meats that he buys. And he made this dish uh, Saturday evening uh, that was basically a cabbage, onion, and uh, sausage dish that he uh, that he cooked up, and it was tasted fantastic. I mean, oh my gosh, this guy can cook like nobody's business. However, and I ate it. I was like, you know, I'm curious too. You know, I haven't had this. I haven't had you know pork in months. 
I ate it and I felt hung over the next day. <laughs> like I, I didn't wow. want to get up for church. I was like, Oh my yeah. gosh. That's a pork last and, night. And my stomach hurt. I was sleepy during church. I'm yeah. never sleepy during church. And, and I, I just realized that, you know, again, it's an elimination diet. Why does it affect you and not Gardy? It's because Gardy's got a completely different cultural background as you have a different cultural background. Your body doesn't do as well with pork and his body can tolerate it. My wife can do pork just fine. I can actually eat bacon okay, but I found that bacon is not really the white meat. It's the fatty skin of, you know, the of the pig, right? You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it's different than uh, eating white meat and uh, oh, the, the the white part of it and so your body doesn't break down pork well uh, my, but if my wife eats red meat for example she gets an upset stomach and if my daughter eats red meat she'll get a headache and why that is I think is because uh, a lot of proteins in general are what people are allergic to when you think of wheat do you think of wheat as a protein I don't No, nobody does but wheat in and of its nature is uh, that people are allergic to or sensitive to is the gluten and the gluten is what is irritating the tissues in the belly uh, the dairy you think of dairy as a protein no you think of it you know it, it, it's but it's got protein in it that you're reacting to it's called casein corn zyme and then soy protein um, and, and so these are the proteins that people are allergic to people I don't even think people are lactose intolerant I think they're casein sensitive Right. Okay. Uh, and and so I think the only reason we have this mo this this world of you know lactose issues is because we found that we could get we could sell lactate. You know, we found a, a way to make money. Uh, at, at people's. I mean, that's just that me being sense. a little bit uh, you know maybe pessimistic uh, on that. But I've just my practice has taught me that what you eat is important, but what you don't eat is far more important. It's just after nine thirty. We're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa. Uh, talking about caffeine, talking about diet, talking about nutrition. We're doing a little experiment on Kurt, and he is drinking an energy drink for the first time in about a month. Is it gone? No, I don't even want to finish it. I, I'm trying my best not to, but I know for the sake of experiment that we have to. He's taking one for the oh, team. Oh, man, I tell you. So, you should have just uh, chugged it. So I just had another uh, 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 person comment that she puts turnips in place of potatoes in all her veggie soups, and no one ever knows the difference. That's cool, and then uh, and then Christy comments and says all meats are uh, are not made equally. Commercial meats are very different than your organic meat, like maybe your farm friends down in Santa Fe might have, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that we ought to be, you know, gathering troops together, people that want to go in and buy cows, you know, and we buy our own fresh meats and split it up between families. It lowers the price, and you know exactly, you know, if you can make a relationship with the farmer. The farmers in a lot of these organic local farming uh, facilities, there's a place around the corner, Natural Living, that they have um, you know, people that are local growers. You should always support local growers. Um, there's a guy over in Clear Lake, Bill Wyatt, uh, uh, and he is – I love him. I mean he's, uh, he, he's got a great farm over there, and he's doing great work with you know, selling healthy organic crops. Um, and so finding local organic farmers, guys, and then teaming up with co-ops, teaming up with neighbors to buy your meats and get good quality nutrients from the food that you're consuming is how we should be all operating. I mean, we sh it does take a village to take care of our families, our friends, our loved ones. And so, you know, we got we to gotta get past this, this uh, idea that it's grocery store always. It's not right. always the answer. Well, Natural Living was pretty cool. We went and checked them out in League City. We actually heard about them through Chef Mary Bass, and it was it was awesome. Yep. And, yeah. And, and I, I frequent their location quite a bit. They got tons of great herbs and powders, and um, you know I, I love Lisa over there. She knows a, a ton about uh, all kinds of things. Natural Living, everything from washing your clothes with these little um, uh, soap ball things that she has and uh, I mean it's how they used to do it like they, again all things matter so you know somebody Christy had asked earlier about like how do we detox what if we detox our detergents what if we detox the lotions and the creams and the uh, we detox the the hair dyes I know my wife was like don't take my hair dye away <laughs> you know what if I I don't want nobody wants silver hair right 
Um, but they say I thought silver hair was like a sign of wisdom. I it mean, is. I got some coming in right here, like on, on my your beard. face. Yeah, I don't think it. Really I, don't, I don't think that's the wise part. It's only it's wise. On head? On, oh man! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! But you know what? So chin. speaking of of graying early in in your hair, that's an indication of mineral deficiencies. So when we get your mineral deficiencies balanced out, we can start seeing the slowing down of the aging process. The body is aging, guys. I mean, mm -hmm. we can't stop it, but we can control the speed at which it's uh, you know aging. And people come in all the time uh, to our office in a state of accelerated aging. That means we call it suddenly this happened or suddenly this is going on or used to I could do that, but suddenly I can't. And when you got a case of the suddenlies, you need to call Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. You know, call us at 281-554-8600. We love helping people. We love serving people. We believe the body can heal one bite at a time. We just want to teach you how to use food as your medicine, and we want to teach you Dr. Chappas Five Steps to Health. We believe uh, wholeheartedly that we can, if people will stick with this program long enough, and they'll follow through with the recommendations that we ask them to do to the best of their ability. You don't have to be perfect at it, but to the best of your ability, that everybody will get better. Everybody will move forward. Everybody will feel great and live great and uh, it just takes time I mean you didn't get in this predicament that you're in health wise overnight Rome wasn't built in a day it does take time dedication to the process but what you do right now impacts the next 15 years of your life so let's make good choices it is 9 36 you're talking to dr. Aaron Chapa on 99.5 FM KHEA radio dr. Chapa thank you for coming in today we're very glad and to be here we are gonna have dr. Aaron Chapa again next Tuesday we have decided to partner with uh, dr. Aaron Chapa and the clinical nutrition center to provide you guys our listeners an opportunity to learn about health so he's gonna be coming back in every Tuesday morning 8 30 to 9 30 in the future thank you again for I'm, partnering with I'm us i'm excited guys this is gonna be a ton of great uh new topics we're gonna talk everything about uh, allergies uh school seasons now in in full effect so your kids if they get sick let's avoid antibiotics let's teach you let me teach you guys how we build health programs that will literally um i think make antibiotics only in those extreme emergencies and I think that it will make them even obsolete if we can get more people using food as their medicine. That's a cool idea. Let's Absolutely. try it. I'm interested in going Thanks, and buying Stacey. a cow. Let's go buy a cow. Let's go buy a cow. How can we do that? That would be I, I can put you in a blast. Like, contact with some people. We could probably pull that off. Can you ride a cow? Is that I don't think I don't no? think cows want to be ridden. I don't know. I think if it's a big enough cow, a bull, you can ride a bull. I just think we're well, gonna get a whole bunch them. of like animal rights activists just like reaching out to us, being like, <laughs> "Did you just say ride a cow?" We're coming after you. They're like or, picketing outside or, hey, of and you know that, possible. And you know that, you know, you could offend a cow. Sometimes a cow is not a cow. It's a heifer. Oh, excuse me. Or, I mean, or it's, an, an, you know, there's, could be an oxen. I just want to meet the bull. I want to see if we can get Kurt to ride a bull. That's what, that's where I was going oh with Oh my this. gosh. And Poor Kurt. I, I think we're this close. We just got to meet the right he did person. did jump out of an airplane. He did. So he's going, yeah, skydiving. And then we got to go Rocky Mountain climbing. He's going to ride a bull. Speaking right. of skydive. Just so you guys know, we are announcing during the 10 o'clock hour, the winner of our Skydive Galveston giveaway video. You know what that means? you get a chance to jump out of a plane for free. Oh that, my gosh. That means you still have an opportunity to enter. If you have not done that, go do it right now. We won't get offended. Just come back. Come back if you're watching on social media, on Facebook, anywhere. All you have to do is just like, share, or make a comment, right? Exactly. Easy. Like, share, comment yeah. on that video. And you'll see the skydiving person jumping out of the plane. And, and make sure that, that you guys also tune in. We're going to have a little uh, like, share, and comment next week uh, to enter in for a, um, a giveaway as well, which we'll, we'll announce next week. We're excited to share. And uh, and we got guys over here that's all also posting uh, for a free chance to do a skydive. And I'll uh, send that to you guys as well. That'd cool. Be awesome. That's what's up. This is KHEA Radio. We're going to take a quick break. God bless everybody. Stay tuned because we're going to be talking a little bit about some martial arts. It went down. It went down yesterday. It was Labor Day. Hopefully everyone had an awesome day either at work or everyone had an awesome day. Whatever you were doing, but it went down at Al Garza's premiere. Martial arts in Dickinson, Texas. It was a blast. We're going to be talking about that later. Who won? I, I don't know. We're going to have to go back and watch the tape, maybe count the scores. I feel like... At some point, momentum was building against me as they viewed Kurt the underdog, but the oh, crowd was on my side. They were on his they side. They were chanting, go, Kurt, go, go, <laughs> Kurt, go. Okay. 
that that didn't happen. That was probably in your head and probably oh, like your voices and friends. But you could hear it. I was building up momentum. And yeah. then it took it to overtime. And yeah. what happened in overtime, you'll find out during the 10 o'clock hour. Yep, yep. It's 940. This is Kickstart. We air every weekday live, 830 to 11 a.m. right here on KHEARadio.com. 99.5. You can go to our website and stream us from anywhere in the world at KHEARadio.com. If you're not liking us on Facebook, make sure that you do that because we do a lot of giveaways. We actually have a new video, I think, dropping today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see what, what's going on, but it's something that you're going to want to definitely want to take part in. It's going to be free. So, everybody, stay tuned. This is Kickstart, KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. Sold us. Hey, sir. What's up? All right, guys. Everybody, who thinks that they're going to win the skydive giveaway? Let's we'll see. It. Who's going to win it? I think I'm going to win it. We got that giveaway going on. Wait, he took the cookie? He took the Lenny's and Larry's cookie. What? No, it's right here. I'm eating it. <laughs> what, he doesn't know, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Eat the cookie, man. I feel good. I, I love being over in that spot. I love being over there. But there's just something special about sitting in this chair and being on this side of this, the monitor that just is exciting. What is exciting about it? I don't know. It just feels like home. Like this was the original spot. This was the original where I sat. I can't wait till we move you over here permanently. Wow. I just, don't know if I want. Just to pull the rug out should from I, under you. Should I? Should I? Dude, eat it. You have no self-control. If there's food mm. in front of you, you're going to eat it. I have to like knock Kurt away from eating this pinata taco every day because I'm like, Kurt, it's not real. It's you not know what's weird? What? I remember that tasting completely different. It's so, definitely not as like filling. You just took like a a baby bite. Eat mm -hmm. the whole thing. That's a big cookie, man. It's a massive cookie. I'm telling you, like the serving size on this says like eat half ah. of the cookie, but you're like, nope. Eat the whole thing. Also, I remember whenever you would eat those um, uncrustables, and you're like, it's healthy, and I'm like, it's not healthy. It's an uncrustable. It's a frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Wait, so peanut they butter and jelly sandwiches, like that's what we feed our kids growing up for like breakfast and lunch. For breakfast. You didn't do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> for breakfast? No. That was what we did growing up. Did, did I would do peanut butter. Anybody else besides Kurt do peanut butter and jelly uh, for breakfast? Like I understand like maybe like jelly like on like toast. Toast is breakfast. You know, if you put you, maybe you butter it or cinnamon or something like that. But like a, a straight up peanut butter, jelly sandwich and like here's your that's breakfast what, that's what i used to do for breakfast and then for lunch too if, like instead of doing the school lunch that's what we did yeah i understand that i mean a lot of people still eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches but not healthy but to claim it's not to claim that ooh, i'm like i'm healthy look at me i'm on a diet and then you're eating peanut butter and jelly like you're on the peanut butter and jelly sandwich diet like no it's not Listen, necessarily like healthy. in in college when i didn't have a whole lot of money you know when you're when you're really struggling um PB and J was cheap, and every time I would go on my PB and J, like where I where I was trying to save money and preserve money, eating PB and J, I lost weight because I was no longer eating steak. I was no longer eating, you know, like I was no longer eating that stuff. <laughs> oh, you know? I'm so glad I didn't know Kurt while he was in college. You didn't eat steak in college, like, but in Nebraska, steak is like the I'm, prime. No, I meal. like steak. I'm just saying the fact that you're like. I would lose weight. I don't know. Because I would only so eat, like, if if I was out of money and you had, like, a week until you got paid, the way to get by was go and buy a jar of peanut butter, jar of jelly, yeah. and some bread, and then you had meals. And so it literally for a long time would be, like, lunch and dinner was PB&J. Yeah. There you go. Kurt, you talk so loud, man. I need to turn really? my mic back up. Yeah. I thought I'd evened it out. But then it went back. Well... Well, I did, and then I think that's better. But Dr. Chapa, he's so well spoken, and just he a little he talks a little over the mic, and so I find it. And then yeah, he 
he, he's kind of like this, but he's got good posture. I have terrible posture. Yeah. Especially when I eat bad, I've noticed that my posture just drops. So we're going to go back on after this. We got a minute and two seconds playing some elevation right now. Did you hear that Soul to Soul Cafe commercial in? We have like yeah. four or five new spots that are dropped um, in rotation. So commercials that we uh, have on the air. And they're really kind of cool to, to kind of listen. And we're going to be dropping some of those on Facebook here so that you can kind of see them. But Soul to Soul Cafe is now a partner with us. We've had Bonnie Donuts, who is a partner with us. We have. I like Texas how you took the Bonnie's he took Donuts. The plural off. You said I know. Donuts. I heard it. And I was like, oh. it's Bonnie's Donuts. My Bonnie grandma's Donuts name was Bonnie, Bonnie and so it's really hard for me to ignore that. And then also oh. Texas Pit Stop Barbecue is also in it. Yeah, we got three meetings today. Hopefully, teaming up with some more places, do some more giveaways, do some more cool stuff. And if you know anywhere that we can go, like somebody suggested earlier, hey, y'all need to go check out that that place that has like raw milk and stuff. Let's go. Good morning. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. We just got off the air with Dr. Aaron Chapa. We got him, walked him to his car, made sure he was safe on the road. It's wet outside. We got to make sure that he's taken care of. Um, he's going to be back with us next week on Tuesday again. And I'm excited about that. I think a lot of people are too, because people are tired of taking so much medication. They're tired of, you know, feeling like they're overweight, maybe dealing with issues that can be solved just by eating differently. And it, you end up saving money because you're like, okay, I don't have to pay these medications, these doctor visits. But if I treat my body with food, hey, I come out on top. You know, every time Dr. Aaron Chapa comes in here, I add probably another like five or six minutes to my grocery store visits because thought, I'm like, oh, I can't eat that now. Like, wow. oh, cut that out of the list. I you thought know? you were going to say to your life. You add about extra five or six minutes to your probably, life. Probably. Well, yeah, because he, he does talk a lot about if, you know, you lose 10 pounds, then that's like an extra mile off of your heart. So you probably are every time you. that you go into the grocery store and you're reading the ingredients, you're checking the labels you're probably adding five or six minutes back into your diet. That's true. You know, so we had some people uh, tune in earlier and they were asking a couple things. One of them is, when are y'all giving away the skydive trip? We're going to do that around 10 o'clock. Also, somebody else had uh, joined in and said, hey, when are y'all going to talk about what happened at the at uh, Al Garza's premier martial arts studio in Dickinson? First of all, that studio is legit. Like it's that awesome. is a really cool gym. If you're looking for uh, an experience where you're taking martial arts, it's brand new. It was flooded out by Harvey and it has been replaced. And we yeah. had the opportunity to go there yesterday yeah. and to see the restitution, you know, the, the, the revitalization of that area to see what was rebuilt after That's Harvey nice. was really kind of cool. And then the facility is just state of the art. And it's something that you should go check out when you have a time. Yep, I agree. It had me wanting to go back and train more. Like having a goal. Be like, could I be uh, a yellow belt? Could I get a brown belt? Could I one day be a fourth degree black belt? I don't know, but it would take a lot of time. And then like looking at the schedule, like do I have time? I would love to go train. We were talking with some one of the pastors there yesterday and he's he's a black belt. And we asked him, what did it take for you to become a black belt? And he said about 10 years. No. It's not something that was easy. No. Well, he's been training for 10 years. He said it took him four years to get that first black belt. And I think he's now like multiple oh, so degrees been, yes, black belt. Where he's at right now has taken him 10 years. Yes. That's a long time. It is. But also it helps you stay active. It helps you get your exercise. It helps you stay disciplined. And it helps you build a community of people who kind of believe the same foundation of things that you're, you're training and, and spending your time around. And those are all good things to do. One of the things that I noticed yesterday, like instantly, was when they started basically speaking in unison. They all knew what to expect. They all knew how to handle that situation. And I was just in awe because we trained with a lot of the people who go to his gym yesterday morning. We, we invited the community. The community came out. A lot of his people came out as well. And it was cool. They all knew what to expect. They all knew like the instantly we bowed to the audience that was watching and said thank you like for showing respect thank you for watching ma'am and sir and then also like bowed to the flag 
And it was just, I felt like in general, we were one, even though you and I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, I didn't know what they were saying or the routine. And so we were just kind of taking it all in. We did film a lot while we were there. And there was a video that was posted where there's a spelling in my name. There's an uh, error spelling in my name. Oh my gosh. I'm a little upset about that. And I think that that was like your little jab that you did on purpose. Like, okay, Curtsy's going to get the last laugh. I also noticed you didn't share that out on your own personal Facebook. And you're big on sharing videos that you edit and film. You're like, that's like your thing. You're like, I'm sharing this out. But for some reason. I don't want people to know that I lost to you. For some reason, you decided not to share this one under like the Kurt Ghost um, you know, Instagram page, the Kurt Ghost Facebook page, the Kurt Casper multiple Facebook accounts. Kurt Ghost Facebook page? Yeah. I need that now, actually. That would be cool. Yeah, so that one didn't get shared. I'm going to have to make sure that that gets shared from your social media. We need your friends and family to see what happened. Also, I do have to say that going back, we were able to watch in slow motion on some of the points that they gave you. <laughs> And what, what were your thoughts, like 100% in okay, all honesty? Okay, so we, we can go back. Again, this is being highly critical, and this goes <laughs> kind of back to, like, people who, like, criticize refs. And they're like, well, instant, it's so re fast. instant it's so fast. replay shows this. Well, they don't have that on the field. Obviously, our, the, the, the judge and the score. They did a great job. Did a great job. But when you go back and look at the video and you, like, frame by frame, <laughs> look at who hit first, there were some points that were, was awarded to me. That definitely probably should have done gone to Guardy, but it was what do you literally mean, probably like, definitely it was literally probably. like one frame you hit, the next frame it was me. It was literally bang bang. Like exactly. this was the bang bang, bang bang. There was two definite noises. I just thought it was funny. But when you're live and you have the crowd <laughs> who obviously didn't like you, I guess they not. obviously like were cheering for Kurt to make the comeback. I think it was because I was have, like jumping up and down every time I hit you. Like, yeah, they were on my side. I was up six to zero. Is, like, and, and so they the the crowd did get on your side because they're like six oh. two. Okay, it was six Four, two. two six two <laughs> eight two. Yeah, and then eight, all of a sudden, seven. Kurt's miraculous comeback that they kept awarding him points. But that goes to show the tough job the referees have. Like even in football and in baseball, the it is crowd. bang bang. And the, the, you have the, the crowd factor because they're cheering for you. But, like, you think of a, a home plate, the home crowd. That wasn't true. But they were um, – they're cheering. You know, if you have a crowd cheering for somebody, then it's like, hey, you see it, and then you have to make the call. Like, it's the first thing you see because you, then you'll let the crowd influence you more, which I think, style I think points, happened. The style points, too. Like, you – I was the only one to jump up and go over the top. And if you jump, you get more points. Yeah, you jumped and I hit you on the leg and then you hit me on the back both times. And then they were like, oh, Kurt gets the points. That's three points. I was like, oh, okay. I think I hit him first, but that's all right. But it's all good. In the end, um, the, the true victor, the, you know, ran supreme. But thank you to Al Garza's Premier Winner. Martial Arts. That was a ton of fun. Come Winner. back, Kurt. Hashtag come back, Kurt. Cody Garza. So yeah, shout out to Cody and his dad and his entire family. They have a cool thing going on. Yeah, I thought it was really fun, like just to even experience like at that one point when we were doing the bag challenge. So they lined up eight punching bags, if you want to call. I, I forget the exact term of what those are called. Right. But they all had a, a little device on the bottom that measured how um, effective those hits were on the bag. It mm -hmm. like shakes and stuff so depending on how much it shakes and we were divided into teams and it was a group of three and you had to punch the bag to get the points and like you could kick the bag all your goal was was to shake the bag hard enough so that you would register points and there were eight right. teams and three around each bag and there's a computer system that measures each hit it's kind of like a video game it's pretty cool and my team mm -hmm. got third place way to go man and your team wasn't it like I felt kind of bad? We were in first until they said, oh, it's backwards. So, I mean, for me, I feel like we were not trying. Whenever I saw we were in first and we were winning by so much, you know, we kind of ease up because I was like, I don't want Kurt to feel bad. I don't want for everybody else to feel bad. I have zero training other than what they just showed me, but I'm kind of a natural, right? Did you think, am I a natural? Obviously no. not because your team was way near the bottom. No, I, I eased up. I eased up. Man, I don't know. Kind I, of like you did in our fight, like to allow the comeback. Maybe, Guardian, if you just press forward and keep going at your pace and stop letting the comebacks happen, maybe yeah. you would stop getting so burned. Man, I don't know. I, I, 
I don't know how me winning is getting burned, but I do know after we go, went back and watched the tape and we clearly just talked about this, both times where you jumped up and hit me, you admit I hit you first. I was like, bam. And there's two distinct frame noises. There's two distinct noises where it's like bop, bop, whenever you watch it. There's more. No, it is not like that. It's definitely Baba. <laughs> and, and I was like, Kurt, we need to put that in slow motion. He was like, oh, um, and then like you freeze it on like the wrong moment. But yeah, it's, it turns into Kurt's personal highlight reel. It is. It's kind of funny. You need even to learn in, how to edit. So even in, in a, a losing effort. But um, Kurt, do you think, when, uh, could you become a black belt? Um, you know, one of the things that, to honestly answer that question. No. <laughs> no. Okay. To, to, to honestly want to answer that question i think it'd be fun i think it requires a lot of dedication and a lot of time commitment that maybe that i do not do not have and i think one of the things that for like a young kid if you have kids of any age like that is something that you should want your kid to become because when i saw these kids these youth that were training with us on on yesterday morning the the discipline the reaction you know the Yes, sirs. You know, those are things that if I have a, a, a son or a daughter, those are things that I want my kids participating in. Those are For those sure. are way yeah. that I want my kids to grow up is honor, discipline, passion. Those are words that Al Garza used to describe and, and to do so in a, in a Christian atmosphere like Al Garza's premier martial arts allows for is really, really interesting. Um, immediately when you walk in there's pumped up christian music playing and i commented on like wait i know this song this is a song that we have playing on our radio station and you're like yeah they're they're playing christian did you music. not notice because literally when we walked in i was like hey check out the song and then you kind of ignored me sometimes how you do and then four songs later you're like oh i know I this think song. it was this the right christian song music. and i was yeah. like i know that's that's what i told you i wasn't i wasn't I probably listening you're i was out. more like in awe of the facilities yeah so we got some cool gloves um we posted some of those on instagram and you can see us in that video that was posted last night right on the khea radio page it was a lot of fun that video is pretty cool because it takes some like mortal Kombat and some street fighter flair and flavor and there were some things that i wanted at the end i was like kurt no we need to have like the laughing like where it comes up and it's like, uh, you win. Uh, 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 and so Perfect score. It took a, a long time to find that right clip, like of audio to be able to I edit that in there. So much like yeah. clips. I'm like, oh my gosh, this clip does not exist. The laughing emoji from Street Fighter does not exist. And then literally it was a Street Fighter sound effect video on YouTube. And I had to go like a minute 40 into the the clip in order to find the ha 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 yeah i found it and it looks pretty good it looks really cool and uh i think that if more people saw that and they had like a league they'd be like wait we want that in our in our stick fighting uh league they would want that kind of stuff but Ooh, could we know. become professional stick fighters you know i don't think so but based on that video from yesterday they said she did come up the judge came back and said that was probably the best fight I've ever seen. <laughs> no, she did not. She did. That's I re hilarious. She, when we were after we were hugging, she was like, "That was one of the greatest fights I've ever witnessed." Well, and I was cool. like, "That's awesome." That is cool. So I think we could. I wanted, and if we had more time, I wanted to go back and do commentary, like all over it. Be like, "Did you see that, Kurt? That's how you, you know, like, oh, look at the flare, you know." Immediately, the hit to the face, right at the the bell. You got to be prepared at all times, you know. And, and then, like, it Kurt, been awesome. Kurt has to change on his mask after the first hit. <laughs> His nog is way too big. Ring, like, rang his bell a little bit too much <laughs> on that one. Did that, did that ring your bell? No, but I couldn't uh, see. I, I could not see out of that first mask. I'm like, oh, why is this bar literally right across my <laughs> eyes? Is this how it's supposed to be? I'm like, no, that's not how it's supposed to be. Well, so they, they tried readjusting it. It didn't help. But it didn't go nowhere. So they're like, here, try this one. And so they changed mask. And that's when the comeback happened. No, I scored like... Like like two more points, and then I it was like six to two, and then the comeback came. People were cheering for comeback Kurt hashtag comeback go, Kurt. Go, Kurt. So right now it's nine fifty nine. Gonna take a quick break. We'll be back at the top of the hour talking more about Al Garza's premier martial arts. Uh, there is one in Dickinson. There's one in Leak City. There's one coming soon to a new location that we had breaking news. Yeah, in Pearland. Pearland, Texas. And somebody from Deer Park was really excited that they're gonna have one of these gyms in their area. 
Coming up next is Maddie Mullen. Speak to me on KHEA Radio. There is a... If you are watching on Facebook, uh, just know that we are in the 10 o'clock hour announcing the winner of that skydive video. So hopefully y'all are ready for this. I'm excited. We're pumped. Uh, I look super pumped for this. So we are going to be using our computer system. I would say you probably have about 15, 20 minutes or so still to get your entries in. We want to give yeah. everyone enough of a chance to do so. I want to see if anybody has entered since we've been on. I have a couple of people who have entered since we've been on. Yeah. It would be we had really Marcia cool. Marsha Ham. Okay. Who also entered. Way to go, Marsha. If anybody else wants to enter now, you have the opportunity to win a free tandem jump from Skydive Galveston. And how cool would that be? Probably not cool for the people who entered first, <laughs> but if somebody just entered now and they ended up winning. I wanna see if we can do a new uh, picture, like a cover photo, like every week at the top of our uh, Facebook. Like it'd be cool to have something with <clears throat> Premier Martial Arts, so it's really cool to see the analytics that Facebook allows. So this Skydive Galveston video reached over 86,000 people. It has over 32,000 views and uh, over 600 shares and over 380 people decided to comment on it. So it's really neat. And we, the reason we do these things is because we like showing what local businesses have going on right here in Galveston County and Skydive Galveston located in Galveston, like over close to Pirates Beach. Did you just text me? Uh, Dr. Choppa. Okay, Sorry. cool. Sorry. Sometimes Kurt will text me in the show like I, I have nothing going on. I'm like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, Kurt, I saw his name pop up at the top of the screen. Cody Garza just entered. Entered the ring. I want to see you, the comeback, Kurt. Uh, stick fight, Cody. See, that would have been fun to see, like, what would have happened if... I feel like, like not good things. Me and Al Garza... Oh, okay. ...went stick fighting. I noticed you usually find the most experienced and the most trained person in the room and call them out. And I am a little bit delighted, yet shocked, that you chose not to do that with Grandmaster Al Garza <laughs> because I... No, there's and, a respect there. Like Booker T. Come on, no you gotta there. respect Booker there's T. There's no respect there. I I think what he does can be changed. Okay, speaking of Booker T, don't we have Rex Andrews, the reality of wrestling Rex, heavyweight on champion Friday. on Friday in studio? He's the heavyweight champ. I'm gonna be making phone calls again to try to get Booker T in the same day. Can you imagine Booker T and Rex in the same room at the same time? I want Gino in here too. I want the person that Rex beat. Uh, we can start it out with Gino and then, like, not tell Rex. And then um, we'll have the person that Rex is, is fighting, which he's fighting the dude who's, the cow like, the cowboy. And I posted on there, like, let me and Kurt in the ring. We want to fight somebody. Reality of wrestling style. I think that we have what it takes to hold a belt. Almost. What almost do you mean almost? what it takes. Oh, I have what it takes, man. I know for a fact. Not – necessarily rex's belt but i could start with like maybe like the <laughs> something smaller can i be like the light heavyweight just a lightweight champ flyweight good morning you're listening to khea radio 99.5 fm this is kickstart i'm Gardy, and i'm kurt and we have an awesome giveaway going on here in a little bit and i know people are wondering who won the skydive galveston giveaway who won? I think that everybody's a winner. Just just first off, first off, I'd like to say that. Just because a lot of people didn't even know Skydive Galveston was doing cool things in the location that they are. And so some were telling us, hey, I'm going either way. Whether I win or, or do not win this free jump that they're partnering with y'all and giving away, I'm going to go check them out. And that's something that uh, everyone should at least try if they have the opportunity once in their life. Um, we love Simon and his wife, Tammy. They have some cool stuff going on that you can't really do that anywhere else around here where you jump over the ocean. 
Land on the beach. Jump on the ocean, land on the beach. The only time you're guaranteed every time to land on the beach. Yep. So we're going to talk a little bit, kind of stretch this out. And then whenever we go to break, we are going to do that drawing. And when we come back, we're going to announce a winner. So if you're listening right now, stay tuned. If you are not listening right now and you, uh, you need to be listening right now. I don't know where I was going with that, but right now it's 10.05. <laughs> Tell your friends. Yeah. Tell your friends if you entered, like Stacy is one of the people, uh, one of our friends and one of our listeners who has- Whitney too, I, th- I believe. Like, like five or six times entered in to possibly win, like had like five or six of her friends use her name. And I think she's standing by, really excited. We, I think we have like 400, 500 people who have entered in to win this. So the odds are high. Like it, but you can increase your odds if, let's say, Kurt uh, is not eligible to win, but let's say I was eligible and I was like, hey, I entered in, but I'm going to call like five people who may not want to go skydiving themselves and say, hey, just go like, share, comment this video. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. And then, or you do 10. There was literally someone who had 10 people do it for them. I had a dream that there was someone who had 30 people do it for him. I'm not even joking. I just remember that right now. Last night I had a dream about us giving away this guy dive video and someone had gotten 30 people to do it and they won. Go figure. If you have better chances, um, why not? Why not? This is Kickstart. It's KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Yesterday we had a blast. It was Labor Day. We went and hung out in Dickinson, Texas at Al Garza's Premier Martial Arts in Dickinson. They have one in League City. There's one coming soon to Pearland. There's a video posted where we had some fun Street Fighter style. We did some stick fighting. It almost looks like a sword. We weren't allowed to stab, which makes sense because that's kind of hard to block. You know, some of the ones I was like trying to block and somehow, like, I don't know if it like flung over because I was watching the video again and I was like, it looks like I blocked that, but then they gave you points. Yeah, Did you hit me on the I, shoulder or something? Yeah, it's, I think, arm up, like elbow up. Okay. So, like, if you hit here, that's a block. Yeah. But if it's here or here or on the side of the leg, then gotcha. that's not a block. So, okay. I wonder, like, if you go up in the ranks of stick fighting, like, how stab. much how much of the uh, blocking actually happens? Like, yeah. people are here, 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 here. And, like, I noticed, like, when we went back and watched the video, they showed us like eight different attacks right and eight different blocks because you can use your stick to block right and we didn't like it was just a matter of like i tried yeah it's i was trying but okay i'm gonna compare this to foosball when you're playing somebody who doesn't really know how to play foosball that well they do something called spinning and so kurt like was out there just like being the spinner just like okay i'm doing everything i can just cheat code like trying to do everything I, i'm trying to keep the integrity of the sport the beauty of, of stick fighting and kurt was just kind of letting it roll out there i was trying everything that i could <laughs> to get get it and then I, I like remembered like halfway through the match i was like oh wait i should like jump and see what happens like if i can jump and hit you and yeah. that was the first time i did that jump and hit and got the three points and it was great but that was also one of the ones where you're going to be like, well, technically, I hit well, not tech. It is not technically. It is. It's fast. Technically, if you go back and look at every hit in the NFL and you go frame by frame, I'm sure you can find a foul on every on every play if you go frame by frame. That's not true. So, like, same thing happens here. You know, you go frame by frame. Yes, frame by frame. But you got to go by heat of the moment. What what happened in the moment? What did the judge say? And what the judge says we well, have to go by yeah obviously the judge said i won so I, obviously we're both going by that right and you, and you know at the end of the day <laughs> you won by one point in overtime by like one like little second oh of a, okay of a hit yeah so well, I, I guess a victory is a victory i don't know i mean if you can try and find a positive in that i feel like as you finally did some exercise because you hadn't in like wow. four months or so that is true and <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like, I feel like you're like the UCF where you're like, I'm undefeated. And then no, I'm like, please yeah. don't and compare then, me then to you the go, UCF. You go like, oh, but I didn't, Frost. I didn't win the national championship. No. Yeah. That's, that's a terrible, uh, Cause you said a victory is a victory. It is. You win and it's a win. What does that, what does that mean? But if you win and go undefeated, shouldn't you also be national champs? No, if you win, okay. There's a game <laughs> and you win 199, you win 10 to nine, you win. Right? It's still one point. It's still one point. 
I guess. I guess so. Uh, you're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5. We're going to take a break. Whenever we come back, we're going to be announcing the winner. We have even people chiming in right now rooting for Whitney Fowler. So we'll see. Seriously? It could be Whitney. Coming up next is Carrie Job, KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. So let's let's do that. Hey, Kelly. All right. So we're officially now closing the drawing. I mean, up until we push this button. So you literally, you can go now, share jump it. Now, jump but now. you got to do it right now. All right. I'm going to turn the mic off for a second. But y'all stay tuned because it's going to be good. Hey, whenever we pick the, the winner, let's go look and see what their, their comments are. Don't make any like, okay, like any sudden comments. Because honestly, if it's someone that like we think like shouldn't, then let's pick someone else. All right, so um, what's everybody up to? We're making sure we get this done. I am excited to do this this giveaway. Hopefully, whenever they go out there, me and Kurt will be able to go make our, our trip out there as well. And maybe get them to meet them. Maybe do a Facebook Live and get to film them coming in, dropping in, and I think that'd be a blast. What's up, Chef Mary? Mary, are you back? She was in Mexico. She was right? in Mexico eating crickets, and I don't think she even brought us any crickets. We're we're trying to make sure our winner comes in. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have I think we have our winner. Mary's still there. She said I'm still here. She's in Mexico. Mary, is there any way you can smuggle back some crickets for us? 
Do they? I'm sure they sell that stuff here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're back. So Mary said they are not good. She's in Mexico eating crickets. We have our winner for the skydive jump. I think y'all are going to be very intrigued to see the winner. I will tell you this. There's somebody. Uh, they live around here. Do y'all think it's a guy or a girl? I don't, I don't know how to say the name. Oh. I know how to say it. I, they did it. I can tell you when they entered too. I'm gonna turn. Yeah. We don't want to give away Wait, any okay, secrets. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, we'll keep it muting the mic because we're trying to make sure that again, when we make this announcement, that we make this announcement for the first time on air. Dang! Look, I don't know how to say. So Mary said, "No, the 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 crickets at home aren't as good as the Mexican crickets. <laughs> the ones." So she had the crickets in a taco. She posted a picture. I saw that. Chef that Mary gross. Bass. She's on next week. No. Is she on next week? Mary. Second. Like a couple weeks? Third Tuesday. Hey, so. I was looking at the week of Thanksgiving. We need to start planning because I may be out of town, but I saw I may leave on Tuesday because on Tuesday is going to be Dr. Choppa and Mary that week of Thanksgiving as long as they're both in town. So I may leave that day. Then I'll be gone Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Come back Saturday. Be here for Sunday. I don't think we should have a show Wednesday, Thursday, Friday then. That's fine. Possibly. The other thing I thought of is like maybe we can do a premiere where excuse me where we come in on a saturday and sit for two hours which jennifer and then we just like pretend it's thanksgiving hey y'all are getting to hear this now we're gonna make well i don't know it'd be kind of interesting i don't know if anybody would watch all right i gotta find the post we're gonna be tagging some people we have the winner what mary had snail ew mexican snails all right uh where's our post i would try that so we're gonna come back do weather maybe and then yeah, make we'll the announcement probably can do you hand me my phone i'm gonna do it from over here so i can make this her? just for you i'm thank you i'll do that just Ma so we can i can stay here and do this mary did you see our uh me and kurt's fighting video of us doing like street fighter stick stick fighting so the snail was not good is what you're saying i think in my head i just think of a snail because oh it ha if you put it in your mouth and just eat it with a little tail thing on there it would be crunchy but obviously i guess you just eat the snail but isn't that like a delicacy for some for some people yeah mary's too eating too much good food and probably hanging out with some cool people check out our cool video but we liked it kurt misspelled my name but i think he was a little bit salty about some other stuff but we had a lot of fun at al garza's premier martial arts that's in dickinson Ooh, a hard mushroom I can't see it. I, I think it would just be slimy, but I guess not. I assume it's cooked. I guess we got one more song. Okay. Are you going to do it from over here? Yeah, I'll, I'll now because I'm going to post the winner and then also send a message to the winner. Again, we're making this announcement in only a few minutes. All right, I'm going to turn like, auto off. So that way, like it or not, after this song, we'll uh, make the announcement we're going to make that announcement. So again, thank you guys for listening and being a part. Yep. Uh, we're going to be doing giveaway videos. We have like four or five lined up yeah. already. So we like giving away stuff. So and one of them is huge. We yeah. teased it yesterday. Yeah. And that is Al Garza's Premier Martial Arts will be giving away an let's, entire. Let's not say. Not say yet. Let's not say, but it's. It's huge. It's it's really big what they're doing, and he's very generous, and we love what he has going on, and he's been in the community in our community right here for over 40 years giving back and just training and teaching discipline and cool mary said they steam they steam the snails and that's how they serve those steam snails i would try it still on thursday we're supposed to go to sammy's wild game grill and film a giveaway video there so they serve like wild game meat so you would have like random things 
that's that would be cool if Al Garza's giving away a black belt without having to do any of the work. They gave us a T-shirt. They were like, "Hey, do y'all want a shirt?" We're like, "Oh yeah." So they have shirts on the wall, and then there's one in the middle, and it says like, um, like certified black belt, you know, in whatever it was. Like I'd earned my black belt. It's a shirt that you would get if you, when whenever you achieve that status. And I was like, "Yeah, can I have that one right there?" And they just like looked at me, said, "No, I cannot." So, sorry. We're not trying to tease, but we literally are trying to make sure we have everything in order. So that way, when we announce the winner, we have everything ready to post, 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 so they can have uh, every opportunity to reach back out to us. Because we want to make sure that the person that we tell, that they know and that they get it. I wonder if the person who is the winner is currently watching. We don't know who's all watching. That would be bonus points. Bonus points if you're currently watching. (laughs) What do y'all think? We do know when the post was made because if you, we went to their page and it's public. Um, yeah. And so we're super excited to announce this no, winner. We I'm, haven't announced the winner. We're doing it in about a minute and 20 seconds. We're waiting for this song to be over. It's playing over the air on our FM station. Either today or tomorrow, we drop our next giveaway video to a donut place. Hint, the hint. donut place. The only donut place that we love. Hint, hint. <laughs> and I think there's a hint that we're going to be giving away. Cough, cough, four winners. <clears throat> cough, four winners. So y'all who would have seen this uh, this donut place, because they do, if you've ever seen anybody have donuts that are like letters, like maybe it'll spell out someone's birthday or that's, that's our is, next giveaway this video. Is where you give, give this, Today uh, give or this tomorrow stuff. that video will drop. So stay on the lookout for it. We love giving away stuff. If you own a business or you know somebody who owns a business that wants to partner with KHEA Radio to do a giveaway video, have them reach out to us, message us on Facebook. Or give us a call, 346-704-1806, 346-704-1806. All right, guys, we got 23 seconds. Hey, what else would y'all like to see us give away? And here's something else we thought about. Like going to a business, even a restaurant, where we say we're going to give away, like, I don't know, four gift cards, but then where we have the opportunity to say, like, hey, you get a free dessert or you get something for free or, like, half off just because you saw the video. Good morning. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Right now it's 1022. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. And it's a beautiful day. Kurt's loud as Dang, I don't that know mic. what. He's so, he's so, Kurt, why are you so loud? I'm sorry. I try. I just talk into the mic. Nah. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But it's all good. So it's been a good morning. We had Dr. Aaron Chapa in studio. We talked a little bit about. Al Garza's premier martial arts, me and Kurt, we did a, a, a session of, I don't even know, like training, and it was a lot of fun. I want to go back. Yeah, so for those of you who are just tuning in for the very first time, we are KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. We are based out of Lamarck, Texas, and we like going on into the community and connecting with local businesses, we local do. people who are doing great in the community. We are positive-based radio, and we just want to keep bringing positivity to you yep one of the things that we like to do are giveaways yep so we are constantly giving away tons and tons of prizes gifts and including right now an entire free skydive giveaway where you get to jump out of an air a perfectly good airplane for free thanks to our partners skydive galveston Yep, it's true. We have three meetings today where we're trying to set up some more stuff like this, and we have meetings all the time. Someone said, "Give away a TV." I, I like that. We can if they it, say it because it was said behind the pulpit on Sunday night. I, I would not. Okay. I don't want to give. Someone said Astros tickets. Somebody had mentioned some tickets to Moody Gardens. I uh, was actually gifted with some from my sister, like a a season pass, which was awesome to Moody Gardens because my son and my daughter they love it. So Moody Gardens is cool. There's a lot of really cool places around here. So I think hopefully we're going to be trying to give away some Rockets tickets. I'm trying to work that out whenever basketball season starts. Just not normal Rocket tickets, though. Kurt, there are they're awesome Rockets tickets, and that's what I'm going to leave it as. Ooh. You always try to drag it on. I love Ooh. I love going to Rockets games. Is anybody a Rockets fan? Anybody like basketball? Is anybody like free stuff? Anybody a fan <laughs> of that? Right, there you go. So we're, we're going to be doing away, giving away videos for the rest of our life here at KHEA Radio, and we love giving away stuff. So I think so. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you're liking KHEA Radio. Make sure you're following KHEA Radio so that way you can see all the giveaway videos that we do. All right. Hey, Spencer, what's up, man? Rockets games are great, too. I agree. So check it out. Right now it's 1024, and I want to thank everybody for watching and hanging out with us and taking the time 
to to rough it out. I know that this can be like a little overwhelming. I'm feeling the my heart beat out of my chest. But we do have a winner for our Skydive Galveston giveaway. I have to say congratulations to Libby Dauphiné. You are the winner of the absolutely free tandem jump skydive with Skydive Galveston. Congratulations to you. Um, we couldn't thank uh, Skydive Galveston enough for making this happen. Simon and his wife, Tammy, are wonderful people. Really excited to, to make this happen. And it couldn't happen um, to a better listener. I'll say that. You followed the rules. You did it. And um, thank you for everybody for listening and sharing and liking the video. Um, we appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, Libby, if you are listening, please give us a call at 346-704-1806. Again, you have won the Skydive Galveston giveaway video. It's 346 704 1806 give us a call when you get a chance we'd love to hear from you set up that trip she said in her comment skydiving skydiving galveston was amazing when your feet get back on the ground you immediately want to go back up Bam. i have only jumped once and i see why people make it a lifestyle congratulations to libby we uh, are really excited that you have won and it's such a fun experience to give to I'd you. I'd say something's really cool. Spencer said, that's my wife. Thank you so much. So Spencer is watching on our Facebook live stream. We did send, um, we sent your wife, we sent Libby a message. We sent her, uh, I think we posted on a comment in the video so that way she can know how to get a hold of us and we'll kind of give her the instructions on, uh, you know, getting a hold of Simon and making that happen. So yeah, thank you to everybody that, that participated. Hopefully we can give another one of these away in the future. The Skydive Galveston is, is amazing. Go check them out. They're doing some cool stuff on the island. Yeah, so thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Make sure that you're, again, listening to KHEA Radio so that you can continue to see what is happening and who is coming up, you know, all the giveaway videos that we're doing next. We're going to take a quick break over the air. We'll be back hanging out on Facebook, streaming live on YouTube, and doing everything that we do. This is Kickstar and KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. So congratulations, Libby. Woo! What's up, Spencer? Thanks for hanging out, man. That's really cool. I'm glad that you were watching. You can uh, let her know or we'll we'll figure it out. But come back over. Sky, to dive, Galveston. That's awesome. I like giving away stuff. It's I'm like it's a thrill to announce the winner. Yeah. And you do it so subtly. You're just like Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Here's Josh. What's up? What's up? Hey, Pastor Josh. What's up, Curtis? Is this the game schedule? Game schedule. So, All right, I got this. So are we drafting against other people? Is that what you said? I think so. Oh, amateurs. Are we still drafting against the Rockets? I don't know. Oh, we need to call Sammy's. So, so here's what's going on. On Thursday, we were supposed to shoot, and this was scheduled before we knew, I knew about this, uh, at 330 at Sammy's Wild Game Grill, like for a giveaway video. So I was going to see if we can move it up to like 1 or one thirty, and then I'll just be in Houston and either Kurt will drop me off or I'll Uber and then I'll, if I could ride home with you. Sweet. So again, congratulations to our winner of the Skydive Galveston jumping experience where you jump out of a entirely perfectly good airplane. Oh, that's a vacuum. I was like, what's that hissing? So like yeah. Like there's just and there's two San Antonio games that'd be good. Take your top eleven. Okay. And then have like alternate. Cool. Because I because last time they blocked it out. Yeah. Right. I wonder if they're gonna do that at all. I don't know. <laughs> I think if we're drafting people. Right? So Dennis Glick says K T A. You spelled my name wrong. And at first I was like, wait, what did I do wrong now? And that's because the winner name was Libby. Hey, what's up, Carter? Dennis Glick. Carter, uh, we met Carter. He is the pastor of Faith City and League City um, from Algarzas. We went and trained that. Did you see that video that we posted? <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? Kurt's still trying to defend his loss. Even though he was like, well, when we looked at some of the stuff in slow motion, like the points they gave him. You and can't go back in slow motion. Well, you, you can't. Gotta... The judge rules. The judge rules. But we watched the slow motion, and it's like clearly, like I hit him on the leg, and then he comes down, like and hits me on the back two times in a row. But uh, either way. Oh. Have fun, Mary. Some pozole. Doorbell. And go to the Frida. The... Oh, yeah. The Frida Museum. Eat more weird things. That's what's up. Bring us back a, a weird food or at least some weird stories. That works. 
We're still waiting for Libby to give us a call. 346-704-1806. See ya. Uh, Libby, if you're watching or if you are in the area, please give us a call. 346-704-1806. He just wants to make you say, what station made you a winner? And then they're going to say, like, put uh, on the spot. K-H. You have uh, to say K-H-E-A. Uh -oh. First of all, you should say, hey, this is Kurt with K-H-E-A Radio. We are getting a phone. I wonder if this is Libby. Answer. This is Kurt with K H E A Radio. Who am I speaking with? Libby Dauphiné. Ooh, you got it right! Congratulations <laughs> on winning. Thank you so much. I am super stoked. My husband just uh, took me actually for my 25th birthday, uh, August 31st, and so. That's awesome. Oh my God, we're stoked. We're definitely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So when you jumped, did you jump with Skydive Galveston? Yes, I did jump with Scott. That's Galveston. cool. Um, Jake was my instructor, and then Donnie was uh, my husband. So I'm I'm guessing you're not gonna like gift this to somebody <laughs> else, one of your loved ones. Uh, uh, no, I'll buy my husband's jump, but Ooh. he'll go with me for sure. That's cool. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, can you talk about you know what was some of the fun experiences that you went through when you jumped with Skydive Galveston? Um. One the instructor, super cool, both Jake and Donnie. They made it very relaxing. They informed you about everything. Um, so I was a little nervous, but I was still more excited than anything. Uh, going up in the plane and just seeing, like, all of Galveston and Houston and the surrounding cities, like, it's beautiful. Like, you cannot – it's undescribable. And then, actually, when the door opens, because I jumped first last time. So when that door opened, I was just so ready. Your heart kind of pumps, but – uh, and then when you fall, it's you're you're flying like it's the closest you can be to pretty much being a bird. <laughs> like uh, it's indescribable feeling just jumping. As soon as your feet hit the ground, you're like, okay, let's go again. I'm down. I, I could do it all day. I have to ask. You wait, know, wait. What are you gonna ask? I was gonna ask um, when you saw the video. Okay, good. What did you What did you think? Uh, the video that uh, along with the post. Yes. Yeah. Video. Yeah. No. When you saw the the, the video, giveaway video? the giveaway video, what did you think? Uh, I loved it. it. It's exactly like the smiles on everyone's faces, how excited they look. Like that's the the closest you can get to even trying to describe like how the whole experience feels. It's so liberating and just uh, it's just seriously indescribable. Um, but it it. it pictures everything the whole jump exactly how it is and did it's you expect to win not in the air long enough um no i didn't actually I, I usually never win these kind of things but um i actually knew a few people that uh entered to win too and i was telling them i'm like oh my god if you do it like i will go with you i i will pay for myself like i have to go again that's awesome that's awesome. So I have to ask this. I ask everyone. Wait, here's here's and, the answer. You know, I'm I'm Kurt with K H E A Radio, there you and go. that's who you're talking with. Um, but I have to know what station made you a winner. K H E A Radio. Yay! Yay! <laughs> she got it right. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> and again, we are. Thank you, Libby, for calling. So we need to. What do we need to do? We need to get with Simon to let them know that she's going to be getting hold yeah libby i'll uh, i'll call you back afterwards or send you a text message on how to get in contact with simon um and then we're gonna set up a time to come with you so that we can film you on the ground and then also your landing so that way we have that for our radio station sound good awesome. i'll call I'm, you back I'm... after this and and or text you back awesome thank you very much guys thank you bye libby also, just so you guys know, we love giving away stuff here on KHEA Radio. So coming up, we are going to be giving away donuts, and we're going to have four winners for that donut giveaway. So stay tuned for that video that's coming up next. Cool. So right now, I'm looking at some Houston Rockets tickets, and that's something that we're wanting to try and give away. So I'm picking some games where hopefully we'll be able to give some of these away. I don't know. Does it, would anybody like to go see the Lakers play in Houston? They got Ooh. some guy. They got some new guy. Has anybody? Who, wait, what are the Lakers? LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. LeBroni. James. LeBron. Bronny James. James. Yeah, he plays for the Lakers now. Am I saying that right? The Los LJ. Angeles Lakers. LeBron James. No. So, yeah, I'm Man, looking at some tickets. Can you imagine if we gave away those tickets? Yeah, that would be uh, probably worth a lot.
but it's all good. We just like making it happen. Give away some stuff. All right. She's trying to get on camera. She's just. I, I thought somebody like, knocked. Yeah. <laughs> Louise said yes. <laughs> Simple yes. Uh, yes. Laker, Rockets. Yeah, Lakers. Lakers. Rockets. <laughs> tickets. You want to go today. on? So we yeah, got we thirty what? seconds. We weather today. And weather is going to be. I feel like that's what's made our show so good. Like what? Apparently, you doing the weather is bringing our show down. What do you think? I don't know what happened on yesterday. Like weather wise, people might need to be paying attention to weather. That's us, true. Especially because like tomorrow, I believe we're Isn't supposed that, to have some of that. The rain from the tropical storm. Yeah, the tropical storm and stuff is supposed to hit tomorrow and flash so flooding. Do you have any like breaking news from that on, in that little weather app right there that you're looking at? Not yet. I haven't seen anything yet. No updates. I saw it only. Good morning. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. It is a beautiful day. Right now it's Tuesday morning, 10.35 a.m. We just gave away the Skydive Galveston trip. Skydive Galveston. Uh, congratulations to Libby Dauphiné. She called in. We talked to her. She is very excited to be able to go on this trip. She actually has some experience with Skydive Galveston and had a wonderful time. She's ready to go again. And I think she said, hey, I'm going to buy uh, uh, a trip for my husband, too, so he can go and maybe some other friends as well. That's really exciting that she's able to kind of just bless some other people with that and be able to go. Yeah, I agree. It'll be a good time for her. So we are excited to do that giveaway. We have some more giveaway videos. that are either going to drop, I think, one today or potentially tomorrow. So we'll see. And then we have like four that are lined up that we're, we're set up to where we're giving away one a week for like the next month at least as long as the editing will get done so i'm excited to be able to do that me too yep yep and we have three meetings later today with other ones that are potential more i just want to keep going i mean people were making recommendations earlier in the show of where we should give stuff away for next i like moody gardens i like the idea of doing um astro tickets i like the idea of doing rockets tickets all of it is possible to give away we just need those people to contact us so that we can give away those those prizes to their business so if you are a business owner or if you are an individual then make sure that you're reaching out to khea radio when you can yeah we had a, a lot of fun yesterday we went to al garza's premier martial arts and we did a little bit of training we got to meet some of his students and we invited the community to come out and it was a good time uh I think to be able to do something like that, especially whenever you're younger, or even when you're older, it kind of teaches you discipline. It teaches you, you know, appreciating your instructor, showing respect. It it uh, allows you to be able to protect yourselves, protect your family, and just be aware. You know, one thing, whenever Grandmaster Garza was in studio with us last week, he said that a lot of the times, whenever someone gets in a situation that seems like, you know, the the emotions rise and it's like a heated moment. Just people being unprepared and not really knowing what to do can cause them to get hurt or causes them to be in a situation that, that is bad. So just knowing like half of it and how if something happens, like, hey, what do I do? And then you can you can diffuse it and get out of there. That was really neat to see. I liked his positive attitude towards things. Like he asked me at the end, he goes, okay, so what, what do you take away from the fight with Guardy? I said, well, it was one point. It was only one point, and I can make up that one point with training. And he's like, man, I like that. I like the positive outlook on things. And I love that mentality that he took. He started the session with this, and he said, what are some words that you are describing that you want to accomplish with your day? And my word was community. And what was your word, Gardy? Do you remember? Um, no, I don't outlook. think I had a word, but mine was learning. That's whenever I, whenever he said, why did you why did you come in here today? He asked the entire class and he called on some people like, what are, what brought you in here today? Some people said dedication. Uh, th there was someone who said passion, you know, and, and mine was just like learning, like, why not trying something new? You know, why not try and do something to better myself and, and see what's going on here. I've always wanted to go there. Why not stop in? Why not pick up some information and, and do a little bit of work and see what, what happens, especially to come in on a rainy day when the weather's bad, you know, and like, on a Monday when you're supposed to have off to come in, that takes dedication, that takes passion for sure. Yep, yep. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Right now it's 1039. We're gonna take a quick break.
Coming up next is some Hill Song on KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. We're on every weekday, 8.30 to 11 a.m. It's Tuesday. It's a little bit rainy when we, we came in, so we'll have to see if that keeps up maybe for the rest of the week or, or how that's going to go. Stay tuned. We're going to be talking more about the weather. We're going to be talking more about health and more about some martial arts. Sweet. Hey, Libby. Thank you for participating. Yeah, and thank you to Skydive Galveston. I can't stress that enough for allowing us to make this uh, this giveaway happen. They're really cool people. We've we had Simon in studio, who's the owner of Skydive Galveston. Got to learn about everything that's going on, and then they took us out there. We got to do some video, and then we had Simon back in again. And we hope to keep doing stuff like that with Skydive Galveston. Yay! Yay! So you know one thing that I forgot to do? What's that? I forgot to pay rent in the long weekend. Ugh. I owe rent. So what's what's, what's the date today? The fourth. When's your rent due? The first, but we have like until the third to pay it or something. So like you're supposed to pay it on the first, but hmm. you can drop it in the box. I just didn't drop it in the box. Oh, you forgot. I wonder what the fee is going to be for that. Yeah, and they one got day that late. late. <laughs> like fifty dollars. Well, it's actually three days. They gave you that grace because it's due on the first, and you can pay it to the, the third, and then you just the, pay it on like holiday. I would think that they would be more like okay, yeah, cool. I went to the post office to drop something off this morning, and it was like eight fifteen. Maybe eight ten, and they're closed. I, they must open at eight thirty. So I shoved it in the box um, that's like outside, and it barely fit. But it's pretty light, um, so hopefully that's okay. But they don't check those boxes till four thirty, which kind of stinks. But also the other thing, you know, the boxes on the inside of the post office where you can like eh, open it up. That thing was locked. It was straight up locked. I wonder why. Yeah, because it's a. It was a bag. It was actually like a jersey. And I was shipping it off somewhere. And I don't know. I guess they close those at night. Like you, there's a little slot where you could put a letter in, but it was just like a shirt inside of a, a pack, like a package that's not that big. Got those late fees, Kurt. I didn't see that. I know. And it's going to be literally, I was one day, my last apartment complex was it, you had a two day grace. So like rent was due the first, it was the second. Um, and I think it was the third and I had not paid and I drove home during my lunch break, drove back to the apartment, which was like 40 minutes away to pay. And they're like, we're not taking that check unless you write it for $50 more. I'm like, I'm literally like half a day late. Is there no grace? And they're like, no, sorry. <laughs> and I was like, wow. They don't care. Hey, money. If, you owe, if somebody owed you money though, wouldn't you want to feel the same way a little bit? Yeah, but if you're making an effort, like I have the money. It's not like I don't have the money. Yeah, I'm just saying if somebody, you understand, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, you are late, so you owe me like $50 extra. And that's a money grab. Well, if it's you know? a bit, no, no. If it's a business, let's say you had a business and you do, you do some videography <clears throat> and someone said they would pay you on the first and then it's like, okay, like, hey, just pay me, pay me that money. You know, we had an agreement. And in the agreement, it says, if you don't pay me by this day, then you owe me an extra $50. Would you be like, no, nah, it's cool. We had an agreement yeah, at all. I'd be cool. I'd be like, well, as long as you pay me, that'd be great. Even if in the contract it said, pay me by this date or more money. I'm excited that, um, yeah, it's just, hopefully they're, they're cool with it. And Maybe. I can walk in today and be like, you know, ask for forgiveness. Like, hey, I'm really sorry. I messed this up. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Kathleen Marks on our page earlier, I made another post to share on the live video. Right. Kathleen says, I can't wait to see what else you are giving away. Woohoo. Yeah. And I'm excited too. We got a lot. I do a lot of work. A lot of, there's so much editing. Are we doing weather when we come back on or? Maybe. I just need another I may play one more song though. Okay. We got some time. How's the cookie going down, 
health wise it tastes good huh yeah it does actually but i haven't had any issues with it which has been good again like i think the thing that's important like what dr chapa had said like if you eliminate something from your diet like reintroduce like Slowly. one thing introduce another thing introduce another thing and also the other thing like with you not having caffeine for a month then you have that and let's say two days from now you still have allergies you're not going to know if it was the pork you're not going to know if it was the caffeine you're not going to know if it was like the flour added from all that stuff or the fried mac and cheese things that i had last night where'd you have fried mac oh did they make those at the where you're hanging out it's so hard being addicted to food <laughs> It's not. I don't think. I don't know. I guess I, I don't, I've never been there, but. And Luis is dropping all. He said the answer is no. Kurt, that's why they have the drop box. Said, well, they do have a drop box. They do. And I said that and I totally, I woke up this morning. Can you make it auto draft? No. They have an online payment. Yeah. But they charge you an extra like 10%. 10%? Use, 10%. It's crazy to use the online feature. I'm like, I'm not going to pay. But like that would make 10. it easier. But them. a lot of people who don't have like a checking account, that makes sense, you know, because they can't write a check. How would they, what would they pay online from? I don't know. <laughs> you would a have to have an card. account. Yeah. Maybe you a can't pay card. rent with a credit card. They won't let do you do that. No, I don't know. See, that's why I, I don't understand why I would sacrifice the, the cost of paying something online for the ease, I guess. But you have to pay for the fee of the processing from the online stuff, you know? And so they're like, we'll provide this to you, but... I think 10% may be high. Maybe it's lower. I forget exactly what it was. There you go. Yeah, 10% is ridiculous. High. It's like probably... A, like 2.5% max. Yeah, I, I could see it being high. like 3%. But I don't... Yeah, so I'm not going to do it that way. So I'm picking games. Luis, what are good like good games? Obviously... I'm trying to pick 11 games for the Rockets, like the Golden State, the Lakers, Oklahoma City. The Pelicans? No, sir. The Pelicans are going to win the World. Maybe San, Anto oh. San Antonio. So what I'm doing on Thursday is I'm going to a, a draft for games where I'm going to be drafting against other people who have this the same seats. And so it's going to be like, okay, well, we want – I want Golden State on November 15th, which is a Thursday. And then they're going to say, okay, well, I want the Lakers on December 13th. So I'm going to try and go through and make every list of here do a number like, hey, this is our number one game, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and see what happens. Other than that, man, let me see. Are the Rockets playing the Celtics at home? That would be a good game. Maybe Philadelphia, but Philly doesn't really have that big of a – a fan base down here, I don't think. Cleveland, that went from like a guaranteed like sold out game to mm. J.R. Smith. You're not you're not paying big money to go watch him. Kevin Love, he's good. Here's a San Antonio, December twenty second. That's probably Celtics. That's the thing. I I, I don't see him. Oh wait, here we go. It's December twenty seventh though. That's all right. It's a Thursday. Minnesota maybe when I saw Minnesota like twice last year though and they were uh no one really cares Pelicans Pel Jazz the Jazz are going to be good but still that's another team that's like mm. yeah. and the thing is like it's good to get some of these seats so that way if we need to like to sell some of them like the games that are more desirable yeah, easy to sell. Okay, we got 10 seconds. Good morning. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Right now it is 1048. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. This is going to be a, a fun time. We're about here at the end of our show. We have a busy day ahead of ourselves. We actually have a meeting with the city of Texas City which is going to be cool. And then we have two other meetings at a, a couple of restaurants. I don't know. Should we say the name? I think we should just let it leave. Yeah, the people we hanging. have two, two meetings today. And then tomorrow for tomorrow's show, we can't announce this. 
we have two really great gra- guests coming in. Stone Cold Meats from League City is going to be in. And then also Houston area food lovers group is going to be in. I think I messed that up. You Bay, did. Want me to say the, the right Bay name? Area Houston food lovers right. are going to be in Baffle. Are going to be in from, you know, we're going to be speaking with Jennifer about all the cool restaurants in Lake City. And then to have Stone Cold Meats in as well is going to be a fun time. That'll be cool. I've heard a lot of good things about Stone Cold Meats. I think they have a location in Lake City. And people are saying that it's the real deal. So I want to go check it out. I want to see if we can do a giveaway. Is anybody interested in just like having delicious meat? Throw it on the grill. Like, hey, we'll cook it in my house. We might as well just have a giveaway every week for the rest of our lives. That's I'd like that. Yeah. I would like to get to the point where we have like a team of people editing and we just show up, film something, and then they're like crunching the numbers, editing, and doing all that stuff. And then like we have multiple giveaways going on all the time. People would, I think, enjoy that. I like that. We become the giveaway station of of (laughs) Galveston County. Yep, yep. We're giving it all away. Uh, This is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. It's Kickstart. We're on every weekday, 8.30 to 11 a.m. We are very excited about the show that we have going on tomorrow. We just talked about the guests. Um, Earlier this show, we had Dr. Aaron Chapa in studio talking about health, talking about getting well, talking about treating your body with the right medicine, using food as a medicine. Something he says is if you want fake results, eat fake food. If you want real results, eat real food. I think that's pretty cool. This is Kickstart and KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is the KHEA Kickstart Weather Center brought to you by Texas Chronicles History, Mystery, and Adventure with Curtsy, probably full of corn and artificial fructose syrup, Casper. It's currently 81 degrees right now in Lamarck, Texas. 83 is going to be the high today. I do have to mention that we are still in a flash flood watch until noon today and i'm expecting that tomorrow we will add more as the tropical storm kind of moves into the area there is uh, a 70 percent chance of rain in the morning so make sure that you grab that umbrella tomorrow when you're headed to work man that took way too long i'm trying we gotta it's double to, that we gotta double, double the that. the music at least especially when there's a lot that's going on i just want the facts i'm trying i, I gotta warn people that the weather is on its way and you do have to kind of be careful tomorrow if you know, I do want to say this. Yesterday, we posted a picture from Galveston, um, from our group, Galveston. Talk of Galveston, Galveston Talk. They don't like you there. No, but they're great people. I've talked to them again on Messenger last night. I'm like, hey, make sure you're giving shout outs. So I'm giving a shout out right now. I've done my part. Now you do your part. Let us <laughs> let us have our posts inside of your group and your chat. You get locked um, out a lot. I do. But she was like, uh, you can try to just keep posting in there and see if you can go under the radar. And I was like, okay, I'll keep trying, but I also want to respect the rules. We don't want to go under the radar. We want to be on the top of the radar, a beacon of shining light, putting positivity positivity on Galveston businesses like Skydive Galveston. We're proud to partner with Soul to Soul Cafe. But we did post a photo yesterday from Galveston of of the flooded streets. Galveston got a little Labor Day flood. And from what I understand, not a whole lot of damage, but there were some businesses that did take in a little bit of water yesterday. But there's a car that was running through the streets that looked like really, really fast. I encourage you, if you're if you're driving through flooded streets, if you're driving and there's flooding that's going on, please make sure that you are using using caution and just wait. You know, drive slowly through. You do not know what's underneath the, the water. You, there might be a pothole that might be happening. There might be things that you run into. So please be careful if things happen tomorrow morning and there's more water that comes and streets do get flooded again. Please make sure that you're using caution at all times. I agree. It's 1053. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Realistically, what are the odds that giveaway video gets done today? Probably zero. Uh, we do have a lot of meetings today, and then I'm going to an Astros game tonight. Oh, yeah, that's um, not happening. I I would say the odds are probably 99.5%, like 60%. Like, I'm saying it's 99.5%. What are you saying? Let's just change know. the subject. I don't think you know 30% what you're saying. 30% chance, maybe, I'm guessing. No, it's not happening. So be on the lookout maybe tomorrow, but I'm trying to think about the stuff you have going on tomorrow, and I don't see it happening either. Tomorrow, if, if, I'm staying up late tonight to get it done for you guys. Wow. Even later than the Astros game? Yes. That makes no sense. We're going to get it done. We want to give away this video and make sure that you guys are blessed 
with an opportunity to, to win donuts from we can't say where but just imagine like name donuts they've been on our show before 30 pounds of something was in studio and yeah. then you can make that decision yeah we're gonna give a a quick shout out to our sponsors take a quick break and we'll be right back to to end the show you're listening to khea radio 99.5 fm this is kickstart of Texas, look no further than Texas Chronicles, history, mystery, and adventure. Follow Joe Perez as he travels the Lone Star State, discovering all it has to offer. Connect with Joe through Facebook at TX Chronicles and Instagram at TX Chron. Thank you for partnering with KHEA Radio. Texas Chronicles, history, mystery, and adventure. Education has been a part of the vision of Abundant Life Christian Center here. since 1985. And for over 20 years, we have offered a positive environment for students to get the best education they possibly can. At Abundant Life Christian School, students in kindergarten through 12th grade are being prepared for college and careers on a daily basis. We have availability in each grade level and would love to talk to you about all the opportunities for your child at ALCS. Just call 409-935-8773 for more information. Good morning, you're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Thank you to Abundant Life Christian School and also thank you to Texas Chronicles History, Mystery and Adventure for partnering with KHEA Radio and helping us stay on the air, helping us continue to try and do more giveaways and, and spread co positivity in the community. Um, if you are interested in becoming a partner with KHEA Radio, all you have to do is send us an email, khea at khearadio.com. I'm going to check the email right now. And you can also send us a direct message on Facebook. That's pretty easy to do. You can also give us a call at 346-704-1806. If you're watching online or if you're listening over the air, you can actually call us and text us at any point. Uh, if you have a, if you want to contribute to the conversation that we're having, come join us. Just give us a call, 346-704-1806. Yeah, one final thing, and then we're going to talk about the rest of the week, but you can also go to khearadio.com. If you are an individual, you can also choose to partner with us. It is because of individuals and businesses who kind of believe in what KHEA Radio is doing, believe in the community and what Galv Galveston County is doing to help make what we're doing possible. So as an individual, you can always go to khearadio.com and, and click become a sponsor or donate and just do it one time or just make it roll monthly, you know, like 10 bucks. We have people that do that, 10, $15 a month, $100 a month. And I, I would like to say thank you to each and every single one of you that help us stay on the air and make this possible. Right now it's 1057. We have a busy week that's going to be going on tomorrow. We have Bay Area Houston Food Lovers and Stone Cold Meats in studio. So that's going to be a fun show. Yeah, I'm really excited that we have Stone Cold Meats in at 9 o'clock. And they are locally in League City. And we're really excited to see what they have to offer and what they're about. And then also to follow that up with Bay Area Houston Food Lovers, the group that talks about food nonstop, to kind of transition into that is going to be really kind of cool and really exciting. Yeah, I see people in the Bay Area Houston Facebook group um, that are going to Stone Cold Meats and getting like a cut of meat and then cooking it and showing before and after like, hey, here's the meat I got. It's a beautiful piece of meat. And then throw it and, and cook it or however they, they do it. And after they're done, it's like, man, that looks really good. Hopefully uh, y'all invite me over to your house, but it never happens. So, but we do want to give a shout out to Stone Cold Meats. Shout out to Bay Area Houston Food Lovers on Facebook. They're going to be in studio tomorrow. Um, then what do we have going on the rest of the week? On Thursday, we have Art of Coffee, which is in Kima, and they're opening up a new one. And down La in Laporte as well. Laporte, and then also in Lamarck. Yes. So uh, that's really exciting. We're going to be talking with them. Yep. And then Friday, I'm really I'm, a, I'm more excited for this than uh, me beating Kurt in the stick fighting competition. We're going to have the champion, the heavyweight champion of reality of wrestling in studio, I'm wondering if he can bring his belt. I'm hoping so. If I was a champion of reality wrestling, I would carry it around on my shoulder, on my waist, all the time, discount double check style. He's going to be in studio. Mr. Rex Andrews, I think his social media handles are Rex Andrews Grapples. So if you're wondering who this is, go check him out. 
He's doing some cool stuff. He's a part of Booker T's Reality of Wrestling promotion that goes, uh, it takes place in Texas City. Every month, they put on one of these uh, matches. It's a tire night full of fun. You know, the family is welcome. It's a blast. And they have one coming up, I think, on Saturday. So Rex is going to come in on Friday. Tell us what's going on on Saturday. I think he's going to win. He is undefeated as the heavyweight champion whenever he comes into KHEA Radio. So I'm I'm thinking, and I'm, if I was a betting person, I would I would bet that he's going to win. Keep the title. I think they do that for us. Like, they, they try harder because they know that they have a fan base like KHEA Radio <laughs> behind them, backing them. He doesn't want to let us down. So that's our week kind of painted out for you. So make sure that you start your morning with us every weekday, 8.30 a.m. We are here till 11 o'clock. It's actually 11 o'clock right now. It's Tuesday morning. This has been Kickstart. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Coming up next is United Relentless right here on KHEARadio.com. This has been Kickstart. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 8.30. We're going to have Stone Cold Meats in studio. And then we're going to have Bay Area Houston Food Lovers. It's a Facebook group. Facebook groups are taking over. We have found that out. Y'all have a wonderful morning. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. We love you. We can't see. wait to see you guys tomorrow. Yep, and shout out to Libby Dauphiné, and especially thank a uh, big thank you to Skydive Galveston for helping make that giveaway possible. Y'all have a good one.